That might have been the best piece of media I've ever consumed on this channel. Everybody say hi to the YouTube audience. Hello, YouTube audience. This is Minecraft, but I survive in Parker Civilization 4 movie, aka Peak Fiction. Um, we're gonna be watching this. That is the play here. There we go. Yeah, say hi. This is Twitch chat. Pink cubed uh, slash, or wait, no, no, no. Twitch slash pink underscore cubed, and then there's the YouTube chat. Yay. Okay. Enough yapping. Enough yammering. Let's get this Minecraft movie going in a three, a two, a one. All right. Let's go. Open up. It's time for parkour. All right. Time for my mandatory parkour check. Let's get this over with. You're late. You know the deal. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Guys, wait. Why are we doing this? Do the one okay, block sorry. jump for the raw chicken, or you can attempt the one block vertical jump for the beef. Here in parkour civilization, no one. All right, chat. What are you doing? It's better to be. Are you? Th this is the only meme I know, so we're gonna have to take our. We, I have to pause. Are you taking beef or are you taking chicken? I'm gonna be honest. It's chicken. It's chicken. I'm a chicken taker. Every no, no, it's chicken. It's chicken. You don't have any sprint right now. You don't have any sprint. You're at one hunger bar, okay? You try to make the vertical jump diagonal, you're done. Just go with the just go with the chicken to start, all right? You got to gather your strength and then you can start going up. You can't get sprint from chicken. You got to you got to get used to it before you jump into these crazy things, no pun intended. It's chicken, chat. It's chicken. This right here is diagonal to the to the beef. Boom. Safe and do the one block jump for the chicken rather than risk your entire life for just half a hunger bar more. Tomorrow, yeah. you better not be late or you'll be doing two block jumps as punishment. Yes, sir. Sorry, I won't be late next time. Down here, us parkour noobs only get fed <sighs> once a day. One piece of raw chicken is just enough to get you to the next day. But that's the life of parkour civilization. If you want to survive, you have it's to parkour. Hell. Every it's parkour hell. noob has the same goal and that's to make it to the top layer where all the parkour <laughs> pros live. Except most parkour pros are born on the top layer. If you're a parkour oh. noob, there's Like, why is it like a, a, a through the young of adult? The temple Dystopia is the fiction. Only structure in the you know what I mean? That combines the bottom layer to the top layer. To make it up, you like it's like divergent maze runner. Parkour course that you know? no parkour noob has ever completed. And let's <laughs> assume like... you don't even get the chance to complete the course. The inside of the temple is protected by a barrier, and the only way a parkour noob gets past the barrier is if they've earned a ticket. I've never even tried getting a ticket before. How do we get a if ticket? I'm gonna rank up How to a, get a parkour ticket? pro one day. I'm gonna have to. In my neighborhood, pretty much everyone has fallen into the void and died, except for the guy who lives right next. To me. He's been my neighbor for five. Is he gonna years. go for the beef? No! He went for the beef. For he went well, exactly. Change my statement. I now. That's y'all. That's all of y'all. In parkour civilization, that's all of y'all. Parkour pros are allowed to break or place blocks. For parkour noobs, it's strictly prohibited. And unfortunately, I found that out the hard way. A while ago, I was searching Whoa, around and I somehow stumbled upon an oak log. No one has seen an oak log in years since trees don't exist in parkour civilization. Whoa. So I had to try to take it. Stop right now. Oh no, I'm done for. You really thought you could break that without me noticing? What? Were you gonna try to cheat parkour? No, sir. I didn't try to make, cheat. He was gonna I just thought planks, it would be bro. super rare and I wanted to collect it. Stop talking. Give me two jumps now. Two jumps in a row? Okay, sorry, sir. I'll do it right now. You know what? You seem a little too happy about two. Let's make it three. Okay, no, I'll do three. Bro. You know what? Now let's make it four jumps in a row. Ah, uh, four in a row? Come on. In parkour civilization, it should be no Why surprise that this? all punishments were just more Nice. Big four. Big and four. that was the last time I ever tried breaking a block. You're lucky you got a light punishment. Don't forget, you're at the bottom, so follow the rules. It's safe to say that if you're at the bottom level of parkour civilization it's not exactly the best but not everything in parkour civilization is that bad for example i was able to use parkour to buy the biggest house in the neighborhood in parkour civilization How? literally everything oh. is parkour and that means okay. parkour has replaced money it's a Welcome. bank it's a bank system Choose which house you want to buy it's pretty nice in parkour civilization all you have to do to buy anything is just make more parkour jumps i'm not really sure why or Ooh, how parkour jump or works a half, as a currency a a but all i know is i basically bought a two-story house for free some Somehow when I was buying my house, I convinced myself to go for the ladder jump to buy the bigger house. In parkour civilization, parkour jumps with trickier items like ladders are worth more. That's why this jump mm, basically okay. bought me a mansion. No way! Thank you for buying the big house. Let that's me take pretty, you right I, do you think to that's it. Worth? Just follow me. I don't know if that oh, one's this worth. Is awesome. I, I feel like small house, house is fine. All houses in parkour civilization are pre-built, and they all have one thing in common. It's a Ooh, requirement that small every single have a house has a parkour though, jump bad. inside to get to your bed. This is a way to make sure everyone in parkour civilization <gasps> parkours everywhere they go, even inside the house. So, this is the neighborhood you'll be living in. You're the only two-story house. Oh my goodness, Charles. We're only three minutes in. I'm already cooked. I'm already out, bro. <laughs> if you follow me, I'll give you a house tour. 
Oh, so store! Ladder jump? Yay! Literally, be the richest one in the neighborhood. I this is our flashback. You have a jump on the top floor and a jump on the bottom floor. Let me show you the upstairs, and then the house is all yours. This is actually a nice right. house. I mean, everything looks good. Because like the downstairs, you can just walk. Bed. You don't yeah, even have to Yeah, parkour. I think I got everything figured out. Perfect. Last thing, I just need to check if your parkour jump is good. How are you supposed to check if it's good? Wait, what the? Did this guy for real just jump off? Uh, I'm really confused. That's is he crazy. alive? Why did That's he crazy. do that? All right, just wanted to confirm that your house is, is that? ready to move in. Oh, the guy the character did just fact die, character. so everything should be good. That guy Dude, not the vine boom. You can't be doing like 50 vine booms. I can't take this. How is that a part of the job? What? No one really remembers how parkour civilization started. Most of the parkour noobs down here at least think that the parkour pros were the ones who started it. But the truth is, I think I was the one this who started it. This is low-key better For than some reason, I can't remember the best, but I'm pretty sure <gasps> this is how the story went. Yo, see what? Yo. Hello? Bro, you think I could get a diamond real quick? I was mining for like three this hours and I only found two diamonds. I just want to make a diamond pickaxe. Uh, sorry. Don't have any to spare. Bro, come on. Don't be like that. You were literally just holding one. Dude, just give me Wait, one and I'll Did he just say literally? Have any to spare. Bro, come on. Don't be like that. You were literally just holding one. Dude, just literally. give me one and I'll pay you literally. back later. I just need a pickaxe. So All right, fine. Give me one I second. Agree. If you want a diamond, you got to give me something. All right, watch out. Back up for one second. Wait, Look, this is. If you can make this four block jump. Wait, this is just genealogy of morality from Nietzsche, but literally parkour. This is actually crazy right now. I'll pay you one diamond. Make this four block jump. Wait, why? Why are you going to pay me to do parkour? What do you even gain? Four blocks. Yeah, we do that. Uh, we take that. We take I that. I don't know. I've just never seen anyone do it before. I'd pay to see it done. <laughs> okay, mm. I'll take the offer. Oh, this is so annoying. All right, just give me a second. I know it's possible. I've done it before. I told you, bro. It's not possible. Just stop no, talking No, you can do it. Dude, four, do four it blocks are like easy, bro. Seconds. And there, there we, we go. go. Finally. Shit. Look, I told you it was possible. No way. That was actually incredible. All right, well, I got my money's worth. Let's go. I got paid for parkour. If you want, I can keep making more parkour for you to do, and I'll pay you for it. Are you kidding? Dude, totally. All right, I'll be back here tomorrow, I guess. And this is basically how parkouring for money started. The next day I showed up to Siwat's house, he offered me way more diamonds So it's this like time, capitalism. And he constructed an entire parkour course outside <clears throat> of his house to do. Right. But little did we know that this parkour course would completely change the way that the world works. Soon after this event, the parkour the civilization metaphor. began. Now that How did he get here, it, though? How did, that's a big jump. gap between those yeah. events and now. But, okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, parkour agree, yeah. check time. You got 30 seconds. <sighs> Another big. beautiful morning, and I have to parkour for some more raw chicken that will make me starve even more. All right, all look, right. Look, 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 look. Beef, beef enjoyers are in shambles. He's at two hunger right now. Right? At the beginning, he was at one. You can see that little one right there. So by eating the chicken, he got up to two. So tomorrow, he can be up to three, then the next day, he'll be up to four, and then he can make an easy sprint jump, okay? Come one on. block for raw chicken, one block vertical for beef. What are you choosing today? Considering my neighbor beef? just died for going for the beef, no, I'm going just going to go with the chicken again. Keep in mind, there's a ticket event today. It's going to be about ticket 200 event? blocks west. This was huge news. If there actually was a ticket oh, event we need today, it. We need I to would get need our... to go for the beef. Ticket events are usually far away, and oh, I yeah, doesn't have to do that. I got there if okay. I chose the chicken, but luckily, I got the beef. No That's way. Doable. You That's made doable. that jump? You might become a parkour pro one day. Wait, you really think I could rank up to be a parkour nah, pro? Nah, not a chance. You're a parkour this noob. Guy. You guys never rank up. It's important to know that parkour pros have really big egos, and they like to put down the parkour noobs. This was an important day. This was only the, the second cast time I've jumped for the beat, and now I have a chance to earn a ticket. The ticket events are so <laughs> risky because they're located so far away. If I wasn't paying mm. attention, I could miss just one of these one-block jumps, and my entire chances of becoming a parkour this? pro would be over. But luckily, oh, is this, the I shoes are the different um, when I got organizations. Here, there were only three parkour noobs in line. Leathers for the, the noobs, course. irons for the Most pros. Most noobs don't even show up for the courses anymore anymore because if you miss one jump you end up like this guy and that's the price you pay if you want a ticket to be a parkour pro i watched no, as bro. the second noob fell to the void hey man do you think you could go already i don't know man i'm kind of nervous i'm gonna fall no you don't need to be nervous i'm sure you're fine oh shoot okay never mind that. i'm trying Before so going for it i All wanted right, to mind. study the parkour course you see every week He's the ticket studying. challenge changes and it's completely random and this week's course was extremely difficult there was a two block jump to get to the ticket and if you get it a two, two block, block jump no to get out here's the thing two about parkour no civilization sprint. parkour can be used for anything and that includes bribing parkour pros check this out if i do a parkour jump with the 360 will you replace one of the two block jumps with a one block jump 
You want to do a one block jump with a 360? Ooh. Fine. There's no way you're going to I love this it. video. Be nice okay. to this video. Let's go. The Parkour Pro accepted by bribe. And now I have another problem. I have to do a 360? Have I even done this before? Whatever. I'm just going to go for it. Please make it. <gasps> no way. I actually did it. All right. Deal's a deal, right? I'm not going to lie. That was the coolest thing I've seen a parkour noob do. Well, deal's a deal. Here you go. Let's go. Now there was Whoa. only one two block jump in the course. Still got to make the first two block jump, noob. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Wait, that, 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 course, that, that wasn't this even was helpful. My best chance to he just put it on the wrong end. Ticket. If I actually get this, That's not even helpful. I could access the parkour we just got and make my way up into a better life as a parkour pro. There was no yeah, we'll do analysis. Now. I had to start the course. Most parkour noobs are. Wait, that wasn't even helpful. This is still a two block. But somehow I got past it. And now was the two block jump. This what? was life or death. I closed my eyes and I went for it. I expected to be falling thousands of feet per second into the void, but to my surprise, I was standing on the platform with the ticket. And thanks to the deal I made with the Parkour Pro, I Oh, the very end. I see. Had course. to jump off this the end. This was okay, life changing. Okay, 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 okay. This was the first I time I've ever received. I thought he would have to like turn around. I thought the guy was just trolling. And I promised myself I that I wasn't going to waste it. I made my way over to the Parkour Temple. Oh, no, 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 no. Because like, look, 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 look. He literally, I was like, I was thinking of it as like a one dimensional thing. Right, that you go, you start here and you end at the ticket, and then he literally just put it on like the wrong end. He like put it at the very end. I'm for Chat to my pro. No, I only had a one block jump to get out of the course. This was life changing. This makes me this want to. This is the first time I've ever received yourself. a ticket to in access the parkour. In Minecraft. Temple. And this I makes me want to fail a parkour jump. That's what you're supposed it. to say. I mean, Chat, this is. This makes me want to fail a parkour jump. It's like that thing that's like, um, like don't use anti animal language. Have you seen that poster? That's like. Oh, don't say, don't say two birds, one, don't say I want to kill two birds with one stone, say feed two birds with one oat. It's like that, but you have to use Minecraft parkour language, right? So don't say I want to kill myself, say I want to throw myself into the void. Made my way over to the you know parkour I mean? temple. I was in a good spot. I had three full hunger bars, which is the most hunger a parkour noob can have. This was oh, it. Shoot. There was you maxed no out at better three. Time, no right, that changes everything. Time to try making that makes, a parkour ugh, course to rank up only? to a parkour yes. pro. I walked up to the hoppers in the ground and I threw in my. You to throw everybody into a wood seconds, chipper. You mean a dropper? A dropper? That a dropper? The chat. Temple was down. And now, of course, yeah, positive sure parkour, positive vocab. To actually get inside the temple, I made the one block jump successfully, nice. and now I was officially Duh. inside the temple. This was it. This was the moment I've been waiting for That's my like 30 entire jumps. life. That's like 30 jumps. This was jumps. the parkour course that no parkour noob has ever beaten. If you miss any of these jumps, you'll either die from fall damage or fall directly into the void. But I've come too far and I've practiced too much to have that happen. I wasn't just going to be another parkour noob that fails this course. I was going to be the first He's one trembling. to rank up to become He's a trembling. parkour pro. My journey to becoming a parkour pro starts now. Hey, wake up. You want parkour to hell! Or what? All right, let's get this over with. We're in parkour let's hell. Hurry up and do Yo! Parkour, wait, wait, okay. wait, Pete. Parkour prison. Even the cells have one block jumps. Parkour if you miss prison. A jump, or if a parkour pro catches you not jumping for thirty seconds, you'll be thrown into the lava. All right, I gotta ask. Do you want to do a diagonal jump to reduce your prison sentence time? This Most is crazy. Noobs would never take this deal. Diagonal jumps are just not worth the risk. No, nah, you gotta get used to them. I was just gonna sit in parkour prison my entire life. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought that was death, chance. not prison. Get out sooner. I was gonna take it. That was crazy. unexpected. Congrats, you've earned one day off your prison time. That means you go from 49 years and 320 days to 49 years and 319 days left. And this is how my life is gonna be for the no. next 49 years in parkour prison. That is, unless okay. I find a way to get to that we portal got a and prison make my break. way back to parkour, parkour civilization. Prison break? Parkour oh, prison shit. is located directly under the bottom layer of parkour civilization. If a parkour noob misses any jump, they fall into the void and end up here. And the only way back to okay. civilization is to spend 50 years here without failing a jump. Before I was yeah, here, we're I in prison. Fa he failed his parkour jump in the in the Minecraft parkour temple because he was attempting his rank up ceremony after getting the ticket, after bribing the guard. But he failed his parkour jump, so now he's in parkour prison. Does that make sense, chat? We're caught up, chat. This place existed, and I was so. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm paying attention. All right, I'm the annihilator. Becoming a parkour pro. My entire life, I've been training for one goal, and that's to go to the temple of parkour and complete the impossible course to rank up to become a parkour pro. I had everything. I earned the ticket to get I inside the temple, and I had funny. enough food to make the journey. But when the time came. 
I failed. Wait, he's what? Yeah. This was five seconds ago. Why are we having an entire like flashback? This is like actually anime, bro. This is like My Hero Academia, where it's like 20 seconds flashback, five seconds flashback, 30 seconds flashback. Rank up to become a like like this bro. just I happened like I ten, 10 seconds to ago, get bro. Get inside the temple, and I had enough food to make the journey. Uh. But when the time came, I failed the first jump, and now I'm dead. What? It was like 20 videos. Where this is like a compilation. I? Welcome to oh. Parkour Prison, or as most noobs call it, their worst oh. nightmare. If you'll that just makes follow sense. me, I'll take you right to your cell. Parkour Prison? Wait, compilations what are OP. No wonder this, this, this video went viral. I don't get it. How am I still alive? Hey, and uh, just make sure you don't miss any of these one block jumps, because if you fall in the lava, you will die for real this time. Oh, yeah, oh, not I a problem. See. I've never missed one block jumps. No, yeah, literally, the clearing like, compilation has been no compilation. Is why parkour prison existed. Instead That's of letting the, the parkour the noobs just fall into the so void, it's, somehow it's this smart. massive structure was made under the void to catch Basically, us. free videos, you know? Why? You don't have to record All right, noob, you know? this is your cell. Go on in. All of the cells in Parkour Prison were separated by a three-block gap, meaning once I went inside this cell, I would never be able to escape. But that wasn't going to stop me from trying. Make sure you're doing at least one jump in your cell every 30 seconds. If one of us catches you not jumping, you're not making it out of here. Just this is a good training this, arc. I was about to rank up to be a parkour pro, and now I'm in the most dangerous place in parkour civilization. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the only noob right now in parkour prison. My guess is most of them by now are no, in the lava. Wait, there's actually someone here. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not alone down here. Don't jump Wait, in the lava. Why right does away. this guy look familiar? He's been my neighbor for five years. No! The neighbor. Why did he try going for the beef? No way, it is my neighbor. Wow, I'm so glad I'm not alone down here. I just- No! Dude, I- Okay. This guy. All right, he this has to be doing it on purpose at this point. The this only thing that's better about Parkour it. Prison is they feed us fish instead of raw chicken. Hey, noob, let's go. You've been selected for parkour testing. Be down there in 30 seconds. And this is one of the not-so-good parts. He was just prison. suicidal. The random that's parkour funny. testing. Bro, wait, you didn't even fill in this gap. Ah, oh, man, now I gotta do another one-block jump. If you're a prisoner here, the only thing you hope for is that you don't get selected for random parkour testing. Every few days, the pros will pick a noob at random to test out Ooh, a new course they've fence. built. This time, the course I was selected for had just, fence parkour. You're, uh, you're fenced the entire time. That's not that bad. It's always fence. I wouldn't be coming back. It's Let's hard go. jumping onto a fence, but you day. get to get walk on the, course, on the fence, you know? Yes, sir. I'm going right now. The worst part about these random courses is that they intentionally use harder blocks for the jumps. The pros know that the noobs have almost nice. no experience with fence jumps, but they build them anyways. Alright, testing complete. Back to yourself in 30 seconds. By some miracle, I was able to get past this week's random testing course. But what about the next week or the week after that? There's going to oh, be some day when they build a jump headache. that I can't do. And I need to get out of here before that happens. Luckily, I've been thinking of a plan to make my escape. Back in <laughs> Parkour <you> Civilization, <laughs> I used Parkour to bribe one of the pros. And now I was going to do it again. Hey, guard. What do you want, noob? I got something to show you. Can you come over here? This better be worth my time or I'm not feeding you tomorrow. Okay, what? Oh, nothing really. I just wanted to ask you if I could pay you in uh, three diagonal jumps in a row for five minutes of free time? Three in a row? Yep, five minutes row. of what free do you think? time? You're definitely not making that, but it's not like I care anyways. Sure. Like always, parkour can be used to get out of any situation. But now I had one chance to make three diagonal jumps in a row or else I was dead. Come on, one, two, nice. three. No nice. way, I actually did actually, it. Okay, no, five huge. minutes of free time, but you better free be time back for in your cell by like, the time I get back. Are we doing a prison break? The bribe worked. Now, I had five minutes to roam around Parkour Prison to see if I could find a way to escape. I had yeah. no clue what was going to happen to me after I escaped, but we gotta I don't have time to portal. think about that right now. When I jumped around the prison, I noticed someone doing the random testing course. Oh, Wait, that's a way harder one. Who I think it is? No, you don't That's like 30 be times harder than the fence one, oh. No way, it is the guy who failed the ticket event in front of me. That guy was nice. I hope he clutches up these glass jumps and He's makes dead. it back to civilization. <laughs> oh, something was strange about this testing course. Why were they using glass for parkour? Glass jumps aren't even a thing at the parkour noob level. If noobs have never done glass jumps, why would they use them to test the jumps? I just got to get out of here. I bet you're Take trying a shot to think for of a every, plan to uh, escape. For right? every what? Thing. Escape? What are you talking about? I would never try to escape. Wait, okay, analyze, analyze. I don't think we have any way to get there, bro. I don't think there's, a, look at that. There's not even a way to get to there. Uh, we don't have any, we don't have any, we can't get up here and jump in. We can't do anything. We're just hoed. We're actually just hoed. Never try to escape. You're not? I was going to take you to the portal, but if you don't want to. This obviously seems like you're trying to set me up. It's not a setup. No one says you have to stay here. You can leave at any time. 
Just follow me and I'll take you there. I'm 99% okay. sure I'm being led into a trap, but it doesn't matter. If he gets me close to the portal, I'll try to improvise. If this guy oh, just okay. leading me into just a kidding. trap, there is I a bunch see of what stuff. it was. He was already getting me so it's close to camouflage. the portal. At this point, I was just going to have to take a chance and hope that he was telling me the truth. I was now oh. five blocks away from going back to parkour civilization. You can leave now if you accept the terms that you can never earn a ticket to rank up to become a parkour pro for the rest of your life. Wait, no! If I go back to parkour civilization now, I can never be a parkour pro? That's correct. Or you can wait out the remainder of your 49 years here. No, in prison. So that's actually I could crazy. Leave parkour prison right now, but in return, I could never become a parkour pro. He's or stuck in the lowest class for another 49 years. It wasn't worth it to stay. I needed to get out of no, here. No, no. Okay, I've made my decision. I'm going to go back. So you accept. Good luck. This was it. The work was done. Ne you're always a parkour, parkour prison, noob. But at what cost? Leaving now meant that I would be a noob for the rest of my life. When I went through the portal, I was brought back into parkour civilization. The portal spawned me at the entrance of the temple of parkour. This was probably the pour last out, time I would one. ever step foot in this temple. I had my chance to rank up to become a pro, and, he, and he, I failed. Now, I can never earn a ticket ever again. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Now, I can just go back okay, to my ordinary Okay, he has to figure out how to become, like, the chosen one. You know, you know, now that I think there's about gotta it, be a it's chosen the worst one. situation in the world. Uh, I mean, at least I still have my mansion. Wait, who is this? I still own this house, right? No, you don't. This house no longer belongs to you. This parkour noob just purchased this new mansion. So you'll have to leave now. Wait, wait, wait. This guy just bought my house? How can he do that? Well, you fell and went to parkour prison. So you lost. You just the take house. all your assets when you, were down when you go to there, prison. This Is that, no that's illegal. It. Bro, really? Wow. That's so actually really illegal. We don't own this house anymore. Well, this guy can enjoy. Uh. Okay, it's for sale now. Let's go so I can move back into my house? <laughs> After you buy it again, sure. <laughs> Wait, really? Are you serious? I have to buy it again? I went back to the shop to go buy my mansion again, but while I was at Parkour <gasps> Prison, something bad happened. The Inflation! The houses in my neighborhood went way up. Now, Wait! If I wanted to a recession! Home, I would have had to pay for it with a two-block jump. It was too risky. I was. Are we to almost done? Some... We're at 18 minutes out of an hour and <laughs> two hours. We are almost... We're like, what, a sixth done? We're oh, we're about a sixth done, but now we're in Minecraft inflation. Google rule 30 Minecraft inflation four. <laughs> Where else to live? Fortunately, I found- Whoa, is that- Oh no, that's the bank. Wood. I thought that was a new I house. A downgrade from the stone Wait, house, wood house? It was all I could afford. I could either do a one block fence jump for a small house or a one and a half block- Oh, big house. You can do that. You can house. do that. I figured yeah. if I'm going to be living on the noob level for my entire life, I might as well buy the big house. Luckily, escaping parkour prison gave me the confidence to make the jump that's good. easily. Now, I got a mansion in a new- I like the wood more. I think the wood looks better. Not to my better. surprise, everyone fell into the void, so it's just me living here. The house is definitely a bit of a downgrade from my previous mansion but you think so? it's still a two-story house you have a painting. Has a painting which is something this is you way don't better. really see that oh you don't have a crafting bench though i just keep wondering what my life would have been like if i actually made it to the pro what's behind the painting can you walk now, through it that's I don't definitely think i'll ever walk figure out what painting. it looks like up there i just wish that whoa <gasps> what was that <gasps> when i went to sit in my chair i backed up against the wall and there was nothing whose house is this, this whose house was, was covering this? something I walked through the painting and it revealed a secret door. For some reason, this house I bought had some hidden passage. Yo. Whoever made this was obviously trying to hide something. But what was it? There was a ladder that the led to the chosen floor. One. And when I got down, there's a guy living in your walls. Head. Somehow there was already someone living here. By their leather boots, I could tell it was a parkour noob. This was obviously some mistake. I went to go leave, but then wait, don't leave. The man spoke to me. He said he's been watching me. I watched you enter the temple of parkour. Old man I Steve. Think you have what it takes to rank up. I'm sorry, man. I think you're confused. I can never earn a ticket anymore. I'm gonna be a parkour noob forever. No, there is still a way I can get you a ticket. Wait, wait, wait. He what? earns it and gives it to him. When I was younger, I earned myself a ticket, but I never used it. Instead, I hid it Yo. far, far away. The old man said it wasn't his destiny. Because he can't to earn one, but he can get one mine. still. He brought out a Holy compass crap. and he threw Actual it. He legal. Told me that if I followed this compass, I'll actual find the hidden legal ticket. God. This was the second chance I was looking for. That's actually I had insane. no way of knowing whether the old man was telling the truth or not. But at this point, I had nothing to lose. Maybe this works. Maybe it doesn't. Are you All going I out at night, bro? I wasn't done no, with parkour civilization. So you can't be jumping at night. That's too dangerous. Come on, that just one dangerous. jump at a time, and I should be there.
there soon. Where do you think you're going? Oh, this can't be good. This is a parkour checkpoint. Why do you want to leave parkour civilization? If the pro found out why I was Dang, really he's got three beefs. Might go back he's been, he's been acing prison. them beef I was going to need an excuse. I uh, just wanted to practice my two block jumps. Listen, new out there, you'd never survive. Besides, what do you need to practice for? You can never rank up, buddy. Despite my convincing story, it didn't work. I was in big trouble now. Following this compass is the only possible way I can make it up to the parkour pro civilization. I was gonna have to try something else. I told you to go home. What if I paid you with a backwards jump? A backwards jump? Okay, at least he's listening, and now I get one That's chance at this. Oh, oh my god, I actually made it. That was crazy. Wait, no, that was crazy. Move aside no, and let me try this. You got it. Just make sure you jump far enough. Oh, shoot. That was not my plan. I thought he was just going to let me pass. Uh, all right. Well, I guess that works. Now that I made it past we gotta start... the parkour checkpoint. Okay, new, new strat just dropped. While he's doing the backwards jump, break the jump, the block. Break the block he's about to jump onto. Boom, gone into the hole, right? You just got to start killing people. All right. It was time to go searching for the- Because I don't think they can punch each other or else they would have already, you know, been boxing it up. You know, they've, they've, they've gotten rid of the, uh, they've de-armed the uh, population to stop them from resisting, right? The slave population. That's assuming that- So you gotta, di you gotta be smart though. We know you can dig out blocks because we saw that with the wood, you know? We gotta get that, we gotta get log, get, get pieces of log, get a crafting bench, get a wooden shovel. The ticket I'm looking for is even real. After the mysterious old man gave me this compass and told me that it would lead to a ticket to rank up to parkour pro civilization, I immediately started. We can't just. We gotta. We gotta practice more because time, we are not ready for that. Fail. The we biggest are not problem ready for I had right to now. solve was my food supply. Parkour noobs only get fed once a day, and if this compass was taking himself. me far away, there was no way I would survive on the raw chicken. So for the past yeah. week, I've been doing the beef jump every single morning, and for the rest of the day, I tried not to parkour at all so I could save the food. But that's when I almost got caught. Hold up, what was that sound? Oh no, I'm starving. This isn't good. Why are you taking damage? Are you starving? Starving? <laughs> no. I'm just in pain because I love parkour so much and I wish I could do it all the time. Oh That's man, real. sorry to hear that. Yeah, love hurts. Well, I hope you feel better. By some love miracle, the parkour hurt. pro bought my excuse. If the pro stayed around for any longer, I might have starved to death. I had to eat the piece of beef that I just jumped for, but it didn't matter. I had already prepared it. Like By Zeus. rationing my food, I was able the to save up parkour four pieces gods. of beef for the journey. I had no clue whether this would be is enough starving to illegal? survive the trip. Or or I think starving is probably, it's like, why are you hoarding food? They're not allowed to hoard food. I think that's probably it. Hmm? Because if you hoard food, then you're like, it's like property. You're not allowed to own property. No, you are allowed to own property because you can have a house. Hmm. Interesting. You can't hoard food though, I think is the idea. Because, oh, because you remember... Remember, we know that noobs are only able to go up to three hunger bars, right? So if you hoarded a bunch of food and ate it all, you'd probably, you might be able to break through that or something. Old man said I had everything I needed, so I guess I was just going to have to trust him again. Now, it was time to go searching for the ticket. Crossing this line Something of like stone that. means I'm heading into the parkour outskirts. No noob, including myself, has oh, ever been holes. out here. And probably holes. for a good reason. All I know it's is holes. that the further away you get from parkour civilization, the more dangerous they the literally jumps can't become. Get more than Already, I was That's starting to so see far. huge yeah. chunks of parkour missing. No one knows how Trying to explain the plot holes is like hard. <laughs> or at least no one down here knows. Unfortunately, the compass... There are no plot holes, I mean, because this is peak fiction, right? That just means we don't understand it well enough. The old man must have hid the ticket out here knowing that no parkour pro would ever go this deep to retrieve it i was running out of time i had already been jumping for hours and now i'm down to one piece of raw beef left hours still, i found nothing that was until i saw something in the distance i had no way of knowing but i had a that feeling that room. this was what i was looking for in all my time here in parkour civilization no i have holes. never Only seen anything holes. like this this couldn't be a coincidence which means I was gonna have to go parkour to the Exactly, Charles, I haven't exactly. really prepared for anything like this. Vertical jumps don't exist naturally down here. The only place I've seen vertical jumps is when I jump for food. Luckily, I made it to the top without falling into the void. I didn't see anything at first glance, but when I pulled out my compass, I was in the right place. I didn't get it. The compass was pointing to me dig? to the exact block I was standing on. The ticket should be here. We're Unless not allowed the to dig. the old man hid the ticket out of sight and... 
put it underground. If Yo. I broke this grass block and a park, I mean, no one's watching. Me, I would for sure be going back to prison for life this time. But if I'm gonna have any shot at making it up to the parkour pro civilization, I'm gonna take that chance. Well, here goes nothing. I broke the block and underground there was a chest. I couldn't believe it. I had actually found the ticket. But when I opened the chest, something was wrong. There was no what? ticket to be found. Just a barrier. The old man lied to me. There was no ticket to get up to the pro civilization. Why would he send me all the way out here to get a barrier block? This didn't make any sense. The old man knew I would risk my entire life for a ticket, but he set me up. Barrier to overthrow people. For this. Well, to, to block to people so they the fall and die. Back, I can ask him why he sent me. Why are you throwing the dirt? We could use that, bro. Block, which is also I guess it's contraband. By some yeah. miracle. No, I but we're keeping the barrier park, bro. Without falling. Hey, you. You were the last one to see the pro stationed here. What happened to him? Oh, I... He missed uh, a jump. Well, I showed him a backwards jump, and then he tried it for himself and then fell. You? A backwards jump? Are you serious? No, I don't believe you. Uh, yeah? Prove okay, it. now I have to try. So you just oh, go no, backwards? Oh, no, this guy. Oh, no, okay, no. and he's gone too. Am I going to be blamed for this? Fortunately, I made These it These parkour pros suck. And no parkour pro has caught They're all... The they're all... None of them are, are parkour pros out of virtue. They're all there out of fortune barrier block now what? it's time to ask this old man why in the Just world like he sent me out there to retrieve this all right bro are you gonna explain to me why the what the he killed himself I, down to the I mean jumped the and threw himself into the void to be found all that was left was a hole in the ground did he jump into the void on purpose I don't understand what's going on, but that's when I paid attention to the item that was left on the ground. I knew what it was before I even picked it up. It was a ticket to rank I up turned myself to become into a, a ticket. pro. The old man had <laughs> it on so him dumb. the entire time, but it's still so sent dumb. me to retrieve the barrier block? The old man wanted me to find this barrier for Dimension a reason, person. and now this was the sign that I was ready to rank up Whoa. to become a parkour pro. It was time to head to the parkour temple. I made my way back to the place that I All never right. thought you I'd step foot up. in again. The place where no parkour is the barrier gonna be history in has ever made it out alive. I went though? ahead and ate my last piece of, food. of food. Just like last time, I was in such a perfect spot. Three full bars of hunger is exactly what I need to make it to the top. I like the barrier the joke, guarding the temple was up, so Thank I threw you. in my. I'm not worried. Wait, it doesn't look like I'm worrying, Chad. <laughs> was now open. All I had to do now was Maybe do I something am. that I totally Maybe had to do, that's fail one block jumps. Okay, I made the first jump. Yeah, you totally a good sign. This time around was different. I wasn't gonna let the pressure get to me. I was gonna be the first noob to ever rank up to the pro civilization. Ah, oh, no. Looking at this jump is giving me flashbacks. My journey to becoming a parkour pro starts now. No. This time was different. I successfully nice. made the first jump, okay. and for it's the just first a bunch time of beef in my jumps life, I was actually together. on the parkour course. Now, all I had to do was just take it one jump at a time. The yeah, first section it. was the stone blocks. So far, I've only encountered one block vertical jumps, but they were nothing yeah. I couldn't handle. Even though I had been on That's the course for a good art. amount of time, I was still ways away from making it to the top. After I passed the stone slabs. block section, I moved slabs. on to the stone slab section. Slabs aren't too common in the noob level of parkour civilization, but luckily, this section wasn't too hard, but it was the okay. next section I was worried about, the stair jumps. This next jump I had to complete was by far the Ooh. hardest jump I've ever seen. It was a two block jump, but you might be able to land on something below block, you, but I didn't you come know, all this way to give up. I went for the jump, but I jumped too early. I thought this was it. That's but okay. By some yeah. miracle, Catch a block yourself. below Woo. me broke my ball, and it only took Good two catch. and a half hearts of damage, but that was too close to call. If I was even the slightest bit off, I could have been all the way down there in the void. On my second time around, I made the jump. He's that stair jump again. essentially marked the end of the stair section, and now I was on the stone walls. Walls were almost never seen at the noob level, but fortunately, I didn't see anything bigger than a one block jump for the rest of the way. All I had to do was sneak and stay on the course, and that's when I got to the point when the jump right. stopped. I was so high Hold. off the ground now, but I knew I was at the end. I climbed up the stairs until I was <gasps> face to face. What with is that? The is that a two to the block? Or pro civilization? This was it. Is it three? I was about to be the first noob in history to rank oh, up. Oh, this is why but nobody ever realization has. hit me. The last That's why you need the barrier. To get to the parkour pro civilization was a three block jump. It was impossible. impossible. This was why no For a one noob. has ever ranked Yo, up. Yo, the twist. Pro, the course was impossible to begin with. But then I remembered the barrier. This is what the old man wanted me to use it for. He knew the course was impossible. The old man must have been here before. I placed down the barrier block and I made the two block jump. Yo. I did it. I actually did it. I was the first. Okay, that tells us something about the, the, the old man. The old man made it up here, failed, or fa failed this jump and survived, or at least saw this jump, right? Because he knew you needed the barrier. 
Dang. for it to ever complete this course. No one at the bottom level knows what society is like up here, and I was gonna be the first one to figure it yeah, out. What the whistleblower was it gonna be like? Was I actually gonna be able to see the sky? Yo, wait, this is kinda hype. Find out, I walked up to the How many layers? How many layers? Doors open, revealing a room I've never seen anything like before. I turned the corner and I saw a parkour pro just standing there. Uh, hi. What the? Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm the only one working here. I came Might from the noob level. Yeah. I just beat the course and ranked up. Can you ask well, FBI um, if he's having I fun? Yeah, FBI, are you having fun? I expecting this. I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, just go over there and throw your leather boots in the lava. All right, time to get my iron Die. boots. Yes, sir. One ranked up. A noob by the name of Evbo. Yes, sir. I'll keep an eye on him. And that was it. That was the last time I would ever wear leather boots again for the rest of my life. From the looks of it, I only oh, have one more lava jump to go. That's kind of high. That's kind of high. I backed up and jumped over the lava. Yeah. And whipped with iron boots. I was officially a, he a pro now. Pro. After I went through, I saw one more jump that led to some barrels. What is this for? It's for food. You only have to pay one jump for two steak here. Only a one block jump for food? One That's amazing. Block, one I jump for two steak. To see something that I've never seen before. Cooked meat. In all of these, in my entire life living on the noob level, I've never seen a piece of cookie. Don't eat it too fast. And now, as a parkour pro, oh. I could fully replenish my hunger bar. Oh. And that meant I could sprint now. Oh, that man, changes this is crazy. everything. Congratulations on becoming a parkour pro. You can now head up those steps and begin your life in parkour pro civilization. Those were the exact words I wanted to hear. This is he didn't it. eat too when fast, but these steps, yeah, that's okay. I will be at that's the okay. top level of parkour civilization. When I walked into the temple, I immediately saw massive statues. These statues Whoa, leather boots, like they were showing the parkour boots. noobs and the parkour pros. They even in had harmony? their boots on. This place is insane. I've never seen Ooh, anything like this. Gold! I mean, look at these statue. What the? Gold boots? Who wears gold boots? This doesn't make any sense. What is this? Diamond boots! Am I the not chosen at the one? Top of parkour civilization? Hey. Parkour delivery. Oh, new house. Look at this house. Parkour delivery is here. Now that I'm a parkour pro, I can get parkour delivered to my house. Hey, did you order parkour construction to this house? Yes, sir. That's me. I ordered the, uh... <laughs> I can get parkour delivered to my house. It's just a crazy line. I just needed a second for that one. Okay. Six block tall slime jump to my bedroom. Sounds good. Where do you want it built? Uh, let's see. I thought the guy was just gonna come in and start doing parkour back and forth and be like, Hey, here you go. Here's your parkour delivered to your, you know what I mean? I think this would be a good place for it. Uh, you think you can build it right there? Oh, sure. I can make that happen. To think just a few days ago, I was a parkour noob and now I'm getting- Yo, this house is parkour crazy. Jumps installed in my house is crazy. This look good? <laughs> yep, nice. I think it's perfect. Hey, thanks man for parkouring all the way out here. Sure, you got my payment? Oh, yeah, Don't yeah, miss yeah, it. for Don't sure. Miss it was job. four one blocks in a row, right? Okay, one, two, three, four. There you go, thank you very Ooh. much. And my tip? Your tip? Really? Don't tell me you thought you weren't 20%. gonna tip me. If you're a parkour pro, it's always expected that you tip when you buy something. Oh, I hope yeah, I make a... this. Oh, that was Ooh. Awesome. Oh, Wow, a 360? Yeah, you're good, Big man. tip, big Thanks. tip. And like most things in parkour civilization, the But like, you're not owed a tip. Like, if I don't tip you, like, just get out of my house. Like, and? Like, oh, where's my tip? The door. That's a tip for you. Leave. Tip is with more parkour. Luckily, I survived that payment for the jump installed in my house. If I missed any one of those jumps, I would He's have just doing suicidal jumps in his house. The, what's up, Sweden? And Thank my journey follow. to become a pro would have been for nothing. But I won't say it wasn't worth it because now I can practice slime jumps anytime I want inside of my house. And this is how my Ooh, new life is houses. as a pro in parkour civilization. No parkour noob Hello at the there, bottom Sweden. level knows what life is like up here, except I was the only one to rank up and become a part of parkour society. To rank up to a parkour pro, I had to be the first noob in history to beat he only gets paid minimum parkour, parkour. <laughs> so when i got to the top i got my that's why he needs his parkour tips a pro i thought i had so made true. it i thought i was at the top of parkour. yeah i think pe i think this exploded because of the I minecraft movie so people started typing minecraft movie and then got journey to minecraft to movie parkour civilization yeah, wasn't even close to being done now i was about to but why, why climb the parkour corporate ladder instead of saying staying content where you are you know like it's all about the it's all about the rat race the parkour race on the second layer of parkour civilization at the parkour and like if you fall here if you fall on this layer do you just drop down to the first layer i guess so look is a two block jump 
When I was a parkour, Everywhere. I thought two block jumps crazy. were extremely hard. But now that I could sprint, I realized they were almost like one block jumps. Something about the pro level felt different. Maybe it was the fact that when I was a noob, I would see dirt in the sky. But now there's nothing above me. And that's when I looked back at the parkour temple. There was still a world above Yo. me, and now it was way higher up. But there was something else that was different. I was staring down at the house I used to live in. When exactly. I was down on the noob yeah. level, I would look up and all I would see is dirt. But somehow on the pro level, I could look down. And I could only assume that the same goes for the layer above me. Now that I was adjusted mm, to my surroundings, it was time metaphor, to go searching chat, for a place a to metaphor. buy a house. That was assuming that life still worked like that up here. When I took a look it's around, a all I saw were the, the same people above identical you down on you, but Maybe you this can't time I wouldn't be getting a mansion. But that's when I found a building that looked different. And it definitely didn't look like a house. When I walked inside the building, metaphor. sure enough, it was a shop to buy a new house. Hey, aren't you the noob who ranked up? That would be me. Oh yeah, I thought it was you. I'm selling houses today. Choose one you want to buy. Let's go. It's time to buy my yeah, first okay, what, house what as a parkour pro. Here? Let's see what these prices are. I can get one house for a two block jump. Oh, that's super that's cheap. Super, All right, what yeah, is this one over cheap. here? I can get one house for a 2.5 block jump. Okay, that's a little more expensive. And this last one is one house for a three block... Wait, why are these all the same? All of these options are for the same house. Oops, busted. <laughs> I was trying to get a little more profit. Why would anyone oh, call for that? Bruh. Since there was only one house to yes, buy, I guess I obviously went with the Wait, wait, wait. This, this is actually... This is actually true for gas, where it's like they have the three different types of gas, but it's like, who really buys the premium gas? Okay, I don't think anybody does that. Does it even do anything? Is it even any different? I think it's a myth. ...and bought my first house with a two-block It's all jump. the same thing. Congrats They're on just more expensive. house as a parkour pro. Let me take you to it. Let's go. Since all the houses were identical, it, it does was something no though. surprise that I got one that looked like this. Uh, you're all more. set to move in. Feel free to call the parkour delivery service if you want your jumps changed. A parkour delivery service? Let's go. Being a parkour pro is awesome. The living the room in my house had two one-block jumps, and the entire house itself was three Ooh, stories tall. Couch. Looks like three Furnace. jumps to get to my bed on the top floor. Hey. It's your neighbor. Can I come in? Oh, uh, sure. Thanks. You're that Evo guy, right? You're the noob who beat the course and ranked up? Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm the first one to do it, I guess. I can't believe you're my neighbor. That's crazy. Well, you probably have questions about life up here, deal? right? Anything you want to know? Uh, yeah, one actually. Uh, what happens when we fall? What is the punishment for missing a jump at the pro level? You go down a level. If you miss a jump, you'll be a noob, and you'll have to beat the course again. Okay, so I can never mm. fall. Noted. So, who are the people above us, then? What's above a pro? It's probably best I just show you. Here, come with me. My neighbor started Ooh, telling me gold? everything there was to know about parkour civilization. So he brought me back to the parkour temple where all the statues were. He explained how parkour civilization starts at the noob level, and at level two, you become a parkour pro. Then, there were the parkour masters. If you were masters. lucky enough to rank up, What's you the get last gold one? boots parkour and you become God. a master. Parkour My neighbor legend. said that parkour masters never come down to the pro level, but if they do ever come down, it's a parkour pro's nightmare. He said the parkour masters are ruthless. And then he walked over to the largest statue, the one with the diamond boots. He What's said that this was the parkour champion. He said the that most people down here don't even believe that the champion is This YouTube series isn't for your age range, little pup, you're a bit old. Parkour civilization is for everyone, all right? It may have been made for a young adult audience, but its themes surpass age ranges, okay? Full boomers have something to learn from parkour civilization. Go watch Oprah, bro. Okay, Oprah's a Okay, no, no, no. You've, you've jumped over. Pun not intended. You went from here? Oprah's way up here. Oprah's way older than me. You've, you've skipped over. Real. But the stories. Yeah, it's rated E for everyone, okay, champion. mom? Whoever that was lives at the top so of true. parkour civilization. This is crazy, though. One parkour champion. Means if I was gonna make one to parkour top, champion, I would have to become a parkour champion. My no, the only shopping channel I'm watching is shopping for a new no house with parkour in parkour civilization. Parkour for food. But then the question was, how do I get food now, or what do I even do? I saw right. that this there was has everything pro going somewhere, so I decided to follow him. Soon after, I saw another pro going in the same direction, which meant they were probably heading to something important. After jumping for a few minutes, I saw what they were heading to. They were all heading to this massive structure in the distance. When I got closer, I saw 
thought that there was a bunch of parkour pros lined up what for something. This? Whatever this place was, these parkour pros were willing to do two block vertical jumps to get here. Fortunately, I didn't fail any of these jumps exactly, and I made it exactly. into the line. It's a commentary. Must have woken up late to whatever this was because I was the last the one to show No, up. we need At to be point, fully focused. Good thing. Fully focused on parkour civilization or you're going to miss out its themes, okay? We are here for a deeper thematic analysis, all right? Subway surfers is not going to help us with that. Or a bad thing. But that's when I saw what everyone it's was It's all a metaphor for like, our society. In society, what are you? Are you a parkour noob or a parkour uh, master? Parkour pro? Are you in the middle? Lower class, middle class, upper class. And then we got the billionaire parkour champion. Who's the champion? Is it political? Is it the president of the United States? Or is it the richest man, Jeff Bezos? Or is it Elon Musk right now? I actually don't know. Okay, then I want your thematic analysis throughout your action. And exactly, I got you. Spencer at the end of the structure. What's in the dispenser? We picked up two items, but the only thing I saw them holding was a piece of paper. paper. What could be so valuable about that piece of paper that people would wait in line this long for? When it was my turn, I clicked what? the button and I got what? a piece of steak. So this is how the parkour pros oh, get food. Farm then work I received the piece of paper. Minutes? The paper said farm work equals 15 minutes. And this is when I realized how life was different on the pro level of parkour civilization. In Instead of parkouring for food like the noobs do, the pros parkour for work. Just like the guy who sold me my house, the guards in parkour prison, or even the okay. pros that fed me every day. They were all just completing their daily task that they got from this piece See, of See, and paper. this, this is a metaphor for the difficulty of job applications. How in life it's so hard to get a, it's hard to get a job right now because your job or application will keep getting denied, okay? It's about unemployment. We're in the middle class, the parkour pros, and we are dealing with unemployment. Bring. Now for my first daily task. We're fighting each other to, to get some freaking uh, paper. Before this, some I had uh, never jobs. seen an animal in parkour civilization. It's a cow. But this is the place they were all kept. This place was responsible for feeding all of the parkour pros and all of the parkour noobs. And it should be no surprise that in parkour civilization, even you have the to animals farm. had to do a <laughs> Okay, that's actually funny. That I had to watch all of the animals. You have to watch animals do parkour. Oh, Please, man, I need to watch this cow parkour. I'm just going to have to watch a cow fall off and die. Whoa, Holy whoa, shit, it's good at it. God, Yo! Cooking. How did he even do that? The parkour pros only eat the meat from the animals that complete the parkour course. They say it enhances your parkour abilities. As for oh, the other animals chicken can that fly, though. the course, well, that's where the meat comes from on the noob level. And some noobs gonna have Raw to eat chicken. that. Wow, I cannot say I missed that. Parkour pros do the their scraps. daily tasks. The noobs get the scraps. Wait, there was actually a good line. It is criticizing the attitude of grass is always greener. The people that seem so above you are also beholden to their own masters. You are never free from obligation. But what about... And that's what pushes us to always keep climbing. That's what I'm talking about, bro. We get to the middle class, and instead of enjoying this new place, we're immediately... How can I become a parkour master? And as soon as we become a parkour master, we're immediately going to try to become the parkour champion. But is the parkour champion free? Hmm? For a reason. Once you've completed Happy the task early that birthday you got to your on your piece of paper, uh, you take it to the training grounds. This place is basically the training only grounds. reason parkour pros are incentivized to work. This is because this One is the only place in parkour civilization where so you can true. practice parkour without worrying about falling to the lower level. Whoa. The entrance to the training grounds is blocked a by a barrier, and the only way in is to throw in your slip of paper once you've completed the work. The daily task I completed gave me 15, 15 minutes. minutes of practice time. That meant for the next 15 minutes, I I could Huge. practice any parkour jump I could possibly think of. But what's the parkour Here, champion you have the ability a slave to? Build to? Any parkour jump you want. That's the but question. with this being my first day as a parkour pro, I didn't even know what I needed to practice. So I just decided to do the jumps that people left here. It seemed like a lot of the pros were practicing fence jumps, which are jumps I had mm. little to no experience on. But what scared me the most is what I saw over here. A slave Someone to was yourself. practicing not one, but multiple three block vertical jumps. It almost seemed three block impossible That's to do crazy. even one. But if someone was practicing, Practicing these jumps, that could only mean one thing. That the way up to become a parkour master would be nearly impossible. If I was going to have any shot at ranking up to become would a master, would you want to be a slave to I yourself? Is that the best option, much more time in here practicing. Ah, another beautiful day and I don't have to wake up to either raw chicken or raw beef. Even though I've only been here for a few days, I feel like I haven't really enjoyed myself yet. I mean, for once in my life, I don't even have to go outside to parkour for food. I don't even have to oh grab my, my piece of die, steak. Bro. I'll still have full hunger for dates. And now Parkour. Instead to your of house being to bullied by all the parkour pros like I was down at the noob <laughs> level, I can just do anything I want and no one's here to punish me. Hey, you want to come with me to get our daily jobs? I don't want to be late. Uh, yeah. No, I don't look at that. We're making I'm friends. I'm going to do my daily task. I think I'm just going to chill today, honestly. 
what? <gasps> what do you mean you're gonna chill? Oh you're my not goodness. Gonna get your oh my goodness. He's fighting back against the capitalistic scheme right now. Daily task? Are you sure about that? What? I mean, he's like, I don't need it. I don't need it. I can just chill. Whoa. I don't know if society's gonna take that line to? down. So what's the problem? I don't know. I just have never seen anyone not do their daily task. Well, maybe I'm teaching the parkour pros that they don't have to parkour all the time. But later that day, I realized I made a huge mistake. Uh, what in the world is that sound? Bro, come on, I was just trying to sleep. Who keeps making that horn noise? Dude, hurry. You gotta get out here now. Follow me and make sure you don't miss a jump. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Be late <laughs> for make what? Make sure you Wait, don't miss a jump. Going? I started parkouring in the direction that my so neighbor was true. going. And that's when I saw IRS? a bunch of parkour Wait, really? pros lined up, standing completely still. I had no clue what was going on, but I followed my neighbor it's and probably soon for missing I got work. in line with all of the other parkour pros. No one was saying anything. Hey, can anyone tell me what's going on? Dude, don't say anything and look straight ahead. Why? Can't someone just explain what's happening? But that's when it happened. Not too far ahead, someone dropped- A down water down bucket down. drop! It was a parkour master. Yo! One of you was supposed to design a new course, but someone didn't do their task. Who was it? Oh, no, I'm done for. Why and now they have to fight each other. The I'm upper class is making the middle class fight in, inside itself. Every one of the parkour pros. Because Knowing they didn't play the rat later, race. He was going to show up where I was. You. What was your task? My task? I, uh, I was selling houses to noobs on the bottom level. <laughs> Someone already did that task. Prepare for a parkour battle. A parkour a battle? A parkour battle? The parkour battle starts now. This is just great. Why does my first parkour With a battle master? have to be against it's a so parkour over. master? For Do the pros attack, believe in a parkour I'm god? That's so true. Yeah, okay, does the parkour a champion... Park, that's doable. Is the parkour champion underneath, like, parkour, parkour Jesus, bro? It should be no surprise that people fight each other <laughs> with more parkour. If someone that's attacks goated. you with the jump and you don't make it, you pay the oh. price. Oh, this isn't good. I'm already down four hearts. <laughs> I gave you an easy one, but I guess this is going to be over faster than I the thought. Parkour the parkour divinity. The parkour theocracy. The worst part about parkour battles is you can't even attack your opponent until you defend one of their attacks. And by the looks of this next jump, I probably won't be attacking the parkour master at all. Your turn. Four blocks by three blocks diagonal jump. All right, here goes nothing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh man, this is so far. How did he do this first try? I was hoping I would get lucky, but this luck wasn't on my the side. The, the second game. attack hit me, and I was down to two hearts. Um, <laughs> this is too far. Um, for me. One more attack. No, no, no. It'll be the allegory of the cave prediction. It'll be the allegory of the cave if he goes to the top, and then sees the sky, and then he sees the sun. And then he gains new knowledge about parkour society. And then he goes back under to the noob level or to a lower level and starts a revolt to reshape parkour society into something better. But the people down there don't understand what he's doing and they fight back against him. And there's some sort of tension there. Then it's the allegory of the three block jump. And you'll be That's the old man. <gasps> Yo. Forever. The parkour master was right. If I failed to defend one more attack, it's game over for me. All I could hope for now is that the parkour master fails this last jump. Yeah, that way parkour, is the parkour champion enlightened in no the old man? First try. Oh, used God, to be the parkour this champion. This is it for you, parkour yeah. bro. A three-block vertical jump to decide the parkour champion. This was it. Bro. My entire the old man was like civilization Moses. came down to this one jump, and it was a three-block vertical jump. I thought when I ranked up to become a parkour pro, my days of parkouring to survive were over. The but I soon profit. realized I knew What's nothing about the parkour, parkour society. The parkour even as a pro, profit. I wasn't even close to being at the top of parkour civilization. The parkour pros were the workers of society. Every day, we would get a new daily job to complete. And I found out the hard way what happens if you skip your job. Because the one day I didn't get my daily task, a parkour master came down and challenged me Started to a parkour battle. Up. And now I have to do the hardest jump I've ever done in my life if I want to live. I've this heard they can it. do five All block jumps. To rank up to Chatter me or chatter me or they even so, be for nothing if I didn't here? make this jump, but at least I was gonna die this trying. Battle is just I like took in a the deep show anime. and I jumped. Yo! Oh! Is this real? I I did it. He did it. I made a three-block vertical jump. <laughs> you just bought yourself Not five bad. minutes of time, but we both know your fate. 
Get ready to attack me. The parkour master was right. All I did was buy myself That's a little crazy. time. How was I going to be able to do a What's jump that the parkour master couldn't do? And if I make it too easy, What's the parkour a God master to a will just get another girl? chance to attack me. I got What's lucky a parkour last time, but I don't think I'd survive parkour... another attack from the parkour master. For uh, my first attack, I built a one block wall. jump, and I did a 360. 360 hits! He's classic! Maybe there was a chance this would work. Wow, a 360? I've never done that before, but... He has his own tech! I forgot! I forgot he has his own tech! I've never done it before. I needed him to fail this jump. What? How? The Who simple things with the spins, what bro. Is this? By some miracle, Genius. my attack against the parkour master was successful. I think I found his weakness. He couldn't do a 360. This was my chance. I just had to make sure that I kept making my jumps. <laughs> For my next attack, I built a two block jump. I've yeah, you gotta do a backwards jump, jump before, but my entire life you depended do another on it. I jumped and I successfully made a two block jump with a 360. You this gotta do, you gotta do a backwards. How bro. are you doing these jumps? Were there any I more uh, lever registers after the first tried to defend no? against my attack, but once again. But and I, okay, I'm sorry to pause parkour civilization. I'm planning to get back to it after I make a lobotomy corporation video. And I want to make a video about all, with all the lobotomy corporation. This can't be possible. How are and you then, beating like, me? 80 hours into three hours, upload that and then do Runa because parts. that'll give us the fun. next person to land an attack would win. So it's in progress. Battle. All right, but you not ready yet. for a three block jump with a 360? No, stop. I yield. This is more important. You win the parkour battle. <laughs> what? Are you serious? No, no, you don't yield. I Kill him. Won the parkour battle? Somehow I beat a parkour master. Because you beat me, I have something that can help you rank up to become a parkour master. I could become a parkour master? The master said that the course to becoming a parkour master okay. would be impossible. But he had something that could help me along like the a way. Barrier. He <gasps> totem of undying. And threw it on the ground. I went to pick it up and I figured out that it was a totem of undying. Yo. He said somewhere in the course there is a jump that I won't survive. And I'll know it when I see it. He told me to go attempt the course in to the rank same up way and with find the invisible this jump. One. He said to find Part any this goes in same, about the by the way to oh, completing shoot. that jump because if i oh, can figure shoot. out how to make the jump i could rank up to become a parkour master this Wise was words, insane Sif. earlier Wise today words. i didn't even know parkour battles existed That's and somehow i won my first battle not just against anyone but a parkour master and now i actually have a bro you got to be holding the totem of and dying at all times i'm not messing around core temple and i'm not messing around to become a parkour master guys I mean, we're not even halfway this is the longest video I've ever watched about in my the fact entire that life. That wasn't the course to rank up. That and was I love just every second to get of it. up to the temple. But I wasn't going to make the journey up the temple just yet. Not only did I need food to get my health back, but I needed to do my daily task. I barely escaped with my life after missing one day of work, so feed I wasn't going to do that again. And today my task was feed noobs. You got to tell the noobs how to get this how to... time of being a parkour pro. I've never made my way back down to the Oh noob my goodness, level this is going to be huge. I wonder if anything's changed down there since I ranked up. If you're a pro because he can tell he can tell noobs guys there's a, a hidden barrier the temple is possible now he can tell people this civilization and you fall you'll lose your rank you can help the lower class again. but you can still go down to the lower level let's see if he helps the lower class way. this is the first time i'd been back to this part of the parkour temple since i ranked that'll up be, and be really now that i was a pro i had access to a to different doorway that i've never seen before this new path led to a giant staircase that would take me back down to the noob level if i missed one of these jumps i would for sure die but fortunately one block jumps are too easy for me now that i'm a parkour pro when i got to the bottom i collected everything i needed in order for me to complete my daily task. It's crazy to think Not that I'm still the, the only chicken, one bro. to have ever completed this course, but the barrier I used still should be there. So yes, maybe yes, tell people. Will. This is so tell strange. People. I once lived in this neighborhood. That was once my mansion. And now as a parkour pro, I can see what it really looks like from down here. When I Whoa, lived here, I was all about the perception. one lived in my neighborhood, or at least the only one left. So does anyone live here anymore? Hello, anyone home? Okay, I guess not. Maybe someone bought my mansion? I don't know. Uh, hello? Anyone here? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, no way. Someone actually does live here. All right, Who is time it? to set up the jumps. Let's see, one block jump for raw chicken, and then the one block vertical jump for raw beef. Man, I can't believe I'm actually doing this job now. All right, mandatory parkour check. Oh, great. It's you. You're a parkour noob now? Weren't you just at my house? Yeah, you delivered my oh, parkour to me. Oh, he fell. So, what happened? What do you think happened, genius? You just paid me a huge tip, and I was so happy. And then That's I fell crazy. out the front door. Hey, man, That's well, crazy. you know, I ranked up, so you could too. All right, so now you have to choose your jump. You think I don't know what to do already? Okay, Let he did jump. say, I ranked up, so you can too. So he is attempting to inspire the lower class. But this is somebody that was higher class and then fell, so it's like less, it's less cool. You know what I mean? 
um, for my. It's less inspiring. Years. Hey, I feel like I remember being in a situation that was just like this. You really think I could rank up to be a parkour pro? <laughs> Not a chance. You're a parkour noob, and you think you're so good now. Just wait till I rank up. Oh, oh. shoot! Oh. Have fun in parkour hell! Have fun in parkour hell! After 50 years in parkour prison. Oh well. After only finding two noobs, parkour people, prison. Went back to the other neighborhood. That's what he gets. That's what he gets for speaking bad to the noobs. Okay, you get what you deserve. Where I found the old man. It just seems so weird. Smoking that, that disappeared parkour out of nowhere. Construction guy. Pack. There's a chance that he came back. <laughs> I forgot his name. House, Did he have a name? Master walked out. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's dead. Luckily, I what? wasn't spotted. What was a parkour master doing all the way at the noob level? Did he try to? Is he trying to find the old man? This house. When I thought the coast was clear, I made my way over. This couldn't be a coincidence. This is the only house I've seen with a secret room, and now a parkour, parkour master, master shows up was, here. Yeah, that's Does crazy. The master actually. even know about the secret room? I went to go inside, and something was wrong. There was no secret. He patched doorway. it. He patched the doorway. The master I was figured sure it this out. was the right house. That parkour master must have came here to block yeah. up the entrance. I sat there thinking about why the parkour master would do that. But nothing made sense to me. But that didn't matter to me right now. Now that I finished my daily task, it was time to try the course. To Whoa, and up it's to crazy. The lower, the low members of society get put in parkour prison. Is that like a, is that like an analogy for like in the, in the modern world? You know, a lot of people that are lower income will will get put in prison. Is it like it, something like that? That's crazy. Jail all the poor people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Is that what they're? It's a metaphor again. Wait, this is a, this is this is beyond. This is beyond. I'm a parkour master and find this impossible jump. I got back up to the pro level, dropped off my daily task paper, and got ready to climb the parkour temple. Okay, now I had one thing to worry about, was and that was making real? this initial course to get into the he temple. I, I wasn't was worried about falling. I was worried about wasting my totem of undying. The parkour master said that I would not survive the impossible jump. So if I got to that jump with no totem of undying, then this entire journey would be You'd for have to find a new I scaled totem my of way up the side of the parkour temple. Until I You'd got to, to the very top. Battle. Most of the jumps were two block vertical jumps, but towards the end, I had to make this three block jump. Now, I couldn't afford to make any mistakes. That's when I made the last Ooh. jump and I was inside the parkour temple. What's crazy is that none of those jumps were a part of the real course to rank up. This was the real course. Already at first glance, Yo. I was seeing blocks I've never seen used in parkour before, but I was expecting that. There's a reason why almost no pros even attempt this course, and that's because it's so dangerous. Fence jumps, trap door jumps, and ladder jumps. The jumps just kept getting harder and harder the more I looked at it, but I wasn't here to rank up. All I was here to do was find the impossible jump that What's the parkour DC? master told me about. If I find this jump and study it like he told me to, maybe I have an actual chance of becoming a parkour Ooh, master. I climbed to the top of the ladder, and now I was really at the start of the course. Any fall from this height would result in death. And of course, I have to do fence jumps as the very first section. Don't I held up my right totem of undying, so, and I climbed so on mad. the course be to begin. So fence jumps were right. my worst nightmare, but so far, I've made three in a row. Okay, but this I bad. soon realized this that's bad. all I needed to do, because I think I found the impossible jump. What is this jump? Is this a four-block vertical fence jump? There's no way this is the right way, right? Four block but there was nowhere else to go. This was clearly the right path, but this jump was... It Wait, that is impossible. impossible. Well, right? the master gave me a totem for a reason. I attempted the jump, but got nowhere close to even making it. That was it. That was my one chance to use the totem of undying. And I'm just hoping that that was the jump he was talking about. Now, I had to study the jump, and I knew just the way to do that. Fortunately, it was my neighbor who was working as the parkour huh? delivery service today. Hey, I need a jump built in my house. Follow me. I need to show you what it looks like. All right, so for the jump I need built, it's kind of a little ways away. Dude. Oh, man. Is the parkour jump all the way up there? Uh, that's, yeah, that's it's fine. Mean. I'll tip that's you just, just follow me. I Stop making this guy's jump all the way up so into hard, the bro. parkour temple and showed him the jump I wanted him to build. Since the jump was complicated, he placed down a block that copies every block on this jump. And after paying for his services, I now have this impossible parkour jump inside my own house. Now I can study this jump every single day. It turns out the jump was a three block vertical jump, but with the fences, it turns into a four block. It was actually impossible. So what was I missing here? I couldn't just practice this jump because parkour civilization laws state all jumps inside your home must have a risk of dying. So practicing wasn't going to be my best option. Ah, this doesn't make any sense. I'll we think could about it recreate tomorrow, it. I, I was going to leave it, but that's lounge. when I slipped. <gasps> no!
For my entire life, I've been parkouring to survive. No! Like, survive and no! This is why we had to do it at the training the lounge. The price. But no matter how many people I've seen fall, no. that never stopped me from believing that I could parkour all the way to the top of society. I knew I could do it. I could be the first noob to become, become pro, the parkour, parkour champion. Master in my first parkour battle, and I even found the impossible jump that the parkour master told me to look for. The worst part. Wait, 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 wait. Found the impossible. Okay, explain why the auto-generated captions made impossible jump capitalized why did it know to capitalize impossible jump to give it extra emphasis that's crazy jump that the parkour the auto captions know bro the worst part is is i was so close i actually thought i could be a champion one day but one jump can change everything <gasps> no i thought i was dead until what what how am I alive? My journey in parkour civilization should have ended. I was supposed to die there, but a what? barrier block caught my fall. This barrier block had to have been placed by someone, right? Unless it wasn't. All of them? The guy who all came to barriers? deliver parkour used a device that copied every single block from the impossible <gasps> jump. That had to be it. The barrier was There's a barrier the blocks jump. in this the- is what the parkour Yo. wanted me to find. It was the way to get past the impossible There's... jump. Oh, that's actually crazy. I can actually rank up to become a parkour master this means there's invisible blocks i couldn't believe it just a few minutes ago i was about to fall down back to the noob level and become a parkour noob Yo, forever okay. and now i'm preparing to rank up again to become a parkour master all right, let's What's see what job? my daily task is today. Course building? Parkour, course okay, building. Okay, bad. definitely cannot skip that. The last time I tried skipping my daily task, I was assigned exact. parkour yeah. course building, and that resulted in a parkour master challenging me to a parkour battle where I barely survived, so I'm not going to do that again. So far, this was the first time I've done a daily task that was located in parkour prison. Oh, and the in only prison. way to get there is by jumping in the void. Ever okay. since I escaped let's this prison, I've never been back, and now I'm working yeah. here. Oh, finally you're here. I thought you were never going to show up. The parkour masters want another glass course made. And make another sure you don't make the jumps one? too easy. There's only two noobs left in parkour prison, so I'll just grab one of them to do the course. There's only two noobs left in parkour prison? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, he has to be nice to the noobs. He used to be in their position, are responsible bro. for building new parkour courses for the parkour masters. And since the pros would never want to try these courses on their own, the prisoners of parkour prison are used Yo, instead. No, that's way rude. it's you again. And you think you're so good now. Just wait till I rank up. Oh, shoot. I mean, I'm this sorry, guy is a dick. You this be guy the one is to a do dick. random parkour testing today. Why can't you pick the old guy? He's like 100 years <gasps> old. Look, man, I don't The old guy? Guys. You just got to do the course. The old this guy? This is too easy. I'm making it out of here. No, no. Oh, no. He's gone for real. This I don't even care about that guy dying. The old guy's in the prison. Closer to becoming a parkour master. May you save us all, Fbo. After a few more days of completing oh, more daily shoot. tasks, I was getting closer was to watching. attempting the course to rank up to become a master. Where was he? Oh, he's just in his cage. Wow. Was getting closer to attempting the course to he has forgotten to where he came from, bro. I had been planning this out carefully. I wasn't just gonna go into the hardest full part hour? Of, the of my life. A full unprepared. hour? I had saved four no of my daily task papers to take to the parkour training grounds. As a parkour pro, each daily task you complete gives you 15 minutes of practice time. Since I saved up, I have now one hour to practice as much parkour as I could. This would probably be one of the last times I could parkour without Plato's the Republic? Because once I step foot into the parkour temple to become a master, I, I think you mean no turning back. Minecraft, but I ever saw I've parkour civilization full movie. The fact that there actually is a Who cares path about the Republic? to get past the impossible jump. But I've come too far and I've been through too much to give up now. I have to believe there's a way yeah, to rank up. I tried practicing every so jump true, that I remembered so from the parkour true. temple. Most of the jumps I saw were either fences, trap doors, or oh, ladders. Trees, and I bro. used my entire time in the training grounds practicing those jumps. By the end of the hour, I felt like I had unlocked parkour abilities I've never had before. I was speedrunning through fence jumps and trap door trap jumps door easily. Jumps. Three block jumps weren't even a yeah. challenge for me by the end of my training. And that's how I knew that it was time to head to the parkour temple and do the course to become a parkour master. Yes, sir. He's heading to the Bro, where's the OST? Now. Don't worry, sir. I have something planned. I can promise you what? not making it out alive. Oh, this shoot. We got, we got an time assassin. To start the journey of we got the an parkour assassin. Temple. The last time I made this climb, I had a totem of undying for a second now chance. Now we gotta take but this But this time around, there would be no second chances.
places. This was my last and only run. If I don't make every single one of these jumps in the parkour course, this would be the last view I ever have of parkour civilization. But that's how parkour life is. Would, would you die, die or would you just... Or you I fall. think you would just go down or stay in the same place. Die, yeah. And I had decided I mean, you know, that I was going to be the one to ride. I got to the top of the ladder floor. and it was time to start the parkour course. Any fall from this height would be the death of me. But the fence jumps weren't what I was worried about. It was this. The impossible we go. we gotta jump. Find the barrier. This is when I find out if the secret path is real or not. I studied where the barrier block was in my house. If I wanted to land on the barrier, I would have to walk off the fence. If I jumped, I would miss the block. And that's assuming it was it's about even faith. There. But it's there's only faith. one way to find out. I walked off the ledge and I was alive was here. The secret path was real. Now, I knew it was possible. It was possible to become a parkour master. I looked around for where to go next, and I saw the outline of a barrier three the blocks thing is, to my The crazy life, thing is, saw this the master, a master told us this, which means that master used to be a pro or knew someone that used to be a pro. So the noobs, no noob ever became a pro, but pros have become masters. Interesting. Staircase of because the high class was built off of the middle class. But the lower class always existed. Okay, okay, it's a socioeconomic uh, commentary. I get it now. Barriers I get it now. that would lead up back onto the parkour course. Clever, I've never done clever. invisible parkour before, but there's a first time for everything. I made the three block jump and I was on the secret path. I didn't understand. Did Maybe someone prophecy, make the secret dude. path or was the course designed like this from the beginning? Either way, however the secret path got, they there, created it got the me jump? back on the course. Ooh, and now I was going to have yeah, to make the jump these? first try. Who then designed then I these? I got past the fence section. That's but now I was true. on the trap doors. Trap doors were only a quarter of the the size of a regular block, meaning if I missed the jump by even a little, it would be game over. This next jump was a three block diagonal jump. I didn't practice this jump, but I made it. I had made it past the trap doors, but now I was on you the, can, like, do the weird thing doors. doors you, like, I had up almost them, yeah. no experience with door jumps, but I knew I had to be careful. If I wasn't paying attention and I you opened can, like, one of the doors the wrong oh. way, I could get knocked off and there would be no totem mm. of undying to save me this time. The jumps kept getting harder and harder and each jump I felt like I was barely hanging on the edge, but it didn't matter as long there as I was go. staying that, on that the thing, course. That, that, that one by tactic. one, I kept making the jumps and I was getting higher and higher off the ground. The last door jump was a three and a half block jump. It was far, Easy. but it wasn't going to be the jump jumps. that stopped me from ranking up. Jumps. I didn't like thinking about the fact that this course had Man, no room for these, error. Man, who built these, bro? Who built these? At least Tell the course had blocks to that? potentially break my fall. But here, there was nothing <laughs> that crazy. could save me. Luckily, I made it past the door section. And now, I was on to the ladder section. Everything was going smoothly until I found something I've never seen before. Is this jump even possible? This is a two-block vertical jump. I've never seen this the jump ladder. before, but I figured it had to be possible. I went for it, and I made it. And that's when I saw one of the hardest jumps, jumps I've ever seen. Oh no, this could be the end of me. Come on, please hang on. Oh, that was too close. I was inches away from slipping off the ladder, but by some miracle, I was still on the course. Now, I was parkouring on fully grown trees. I didn't even know trees still existed in parkour civilization, but I didn't have time to focus on that right now. I was oh, looking shoot, at the last no jumps, and I realized I was almost at the top. I was actually gonna. I'm do just it. curious right, about who created this place. What the, what? Who the champion? Oh! What is? Wait, wait, wait! No! I was too late to realize. I opened my eyes and I was still on the tree with two hearts left. The guy what jumped him. Was that? He, he was jumped. Of the <laughs> that is impressive. Yep. I thought the TNT would do the trick, but you just want to stay alive. What the? Who are you? What are you Who's doing? Who's paying here? this guy? I'm so confused. What is going on? Oh, please don't tell me you thought you were going to rank up. A you, master you or maybe the champion? You don't belong up there. You could never be a parkour master. You belong at the bottom level. You were a noob. You were born to be one, and you'll always be one. And no, now, bro, I can climb. I can climb out of my uh, Prepare for a parkour battle. Oh, God, a parkour a battle, battle is not what I need right now. I only have two hearts left. That means if I fail to defend any parkour attack, that will be oh, the end shoot. of me. And to think I actually had a chance of ranking up. Say goodbye to parkour civilization. This is what I'd watch the battle starts bum, now. I attack you with a two-block diagonal um, vertical jump. Whoever this okay. was severely You're underestimated me. Mark? I've beaten a master in what a parkour battle, and I sure wasn't going to get out to a jump like that. There's no point in fighting back. Your fate is inevitable. I didn't listen to the parkour pro. I knew that as long as I could parkour, I was still in this. Now, I couldn't afford to play it safe. I needed an attack oh, that soup. would finish him once <laughs> oh, and for soup. all. And that meant doing a jump I've never done before. Come on, please make it. Ooh. <laughs> I did it. No, no. What was that? What was that jump? The negative well, self-talk suit. We don't want negative self-talk. Wait, sorry, I messed up. It's actually a two-block downwards-backwards diagonal jump. 
This Ooh. was it. The pro lined up at the edge of the block and jumped backwards. Come on, please. Farewell. No, I did it. I no. The, <laughs> the fade out. The but fade out. Against who? That was just a parkour pro. Why was another pro trying to attack me? And why did they not want me to rank up? What was all? You're that right. That was his first kill. I was born to be at the that, bottom. There was too much. He to didn't even out, hesitate. Too. He saw a death. He doesn't now, even care. I still had He's to become worry about surviving the parkour course. All he cares about is his own survival. Bro. Who knows if there are more traps his waiting for heart. me ahead? I took a look at the rest of the course. I could see the final stretch of jumps, and all I had to do now was this is crazy. a slime block jump. Where are the Let's dentists? Go. In all the days I was using my custom slime block jump. You have to, to do a lot of parkour to pay for dentistry. For this moment. I jumped and I made it. Now Huge. I was standing on one parkour of the masters, final I think jumps of the course, for and I could see the though. doorway up ahead. And now he checks your teeth with parkour jumps. But I've been practicing <laughs> for this so moment. True. I used my momentum to do all five jumps in a row. All right, open up. I got a parkour up there. I would be a parkour master now. I was at a tricky part. I've never even seen chain jumps before, but compared to surviving a surprise attack and parkour battle, it was nothing to me anymore. I made the final chain jump, and I was woo, one woo. jump away from becoming a parkour I mean, if people master. jumped you with this was it. This was what everything Yeah, was I mean, that is true. He did get TNT bombed. Man, that helped me. He did get the TNT bombed. The master that gave me the totem, they all wanted me to and make it to this point, and I wasn't going to let them down. So, I jumped, I mean, I think and that's... I made it. I did it. I, I think that's uh, I actually did it. Fair. I turned around and looked at how like high morally I was acceptable for him to get that the kill. That no but he didn't even hesitate. That's to do. And now I'm about to rank up. Once I step through these doors, I will no longer be a parkour pro. I will be a parkour master. The door Woo! opened, revealing an entirely different room. All it's of beautiful. the walls were it's made up of courts. What was society even going to look like up here? I couldn't describe it, but everything was so perfect compared to the layers down below. I looked over and I saw a lava parkour jump with dispensers in the middle. Oh, I know what this is. This would hopefully be the last time I ever have to wear pro boots again. I took off my boots and threw them in the lava. And now I just gotta Gold make sure time. I don't fail this jump. I jumped through the dispensers Beautiful. and I was equipped with golden boots. I was now officially a parkour master. The it last time I hair. ranked up to become a pro, there were people working in the parkour temple, but now I don't see anyone here. I realized how different society was between the noob and pro levels, so how much different could this society be? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I walked up the stairs and I started to see the inside of the parkour temple. All right, I think I'm ready there's to see what one society is like up here. Us, yeah. I walked up the stairs into the parkour master society. Oh my... Becoming a master of parkour oh. wasn't easy. I had to risk my life finding a way past an impossible jump. I had to complete parkour jumps that I've never even done Stop before. Edging I me. even had to survive a surprise attack while trying to rank up. But no matter what challenge I faced, nothing stopped me from ranking up to become a parkour master. Now I get to be the first parkour pro to see what society is like up here. Oh my. This is what parkour Yo! civilization looks like as a master. Up here, only the parkour best civilization the best can if everyone was jumps. masters. One missed jump and I would rank down back to a parkour Parkour pro. civilization if everybody went for the would beef. Have been for nothing. I, I think I've become a beef like believer. Be fighting for my life I think I've become jump. a beef as a parkour believer. parkour noob, I only had to do one block jumps. When I became a pro, those one block jumps turned into two block jumps. And now as a parkour master, everywhere I look is a three block jump. Except now up here, there are parkour highways. It seemed like taking the highway was a little easier since the glass jumps were about two and a half blocks. I was expecting life to be different up here, but I did not think it would look like this. I mean, were these even houses? These were more like skyscrapers. Wait. Could I actually buy a skyscraper oh, one, yeah. as a master? What's the jump I looked gonna up, be, though? and way up high, I saw a parkour master easily making the jumps. And just uh, when I thought he was going to die from fall oh, damage, he, water he just caught himself with a water bucket and yeah. moved on. Smart. I've never heard of water bucket parkour being a thing. But that's when I remembered the parkour master that I battled came down the same way. So parkour masters can use water to never take fall damage? All right, well, it looks like I got to go find myself a water bucket. I made my way over to what out. looked like to be some yeah, is that what a water bucket means? staircase. And this definitely didn't look like an easy staircase to so climb. True. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh no, my first day as a parkour master and I'm already in trouble. I turned around but didn't see anybody until a parkour master dropped down out of nowhere. It seems like you're new here. You should probably get off the staircase if you don't have your water bucket yet. Okay, I'm not gonna fight Where back on get this my water one. Bucket. I'm not trying to make really? enemies on my first day. The master explained that I shouldn't be going up high without a water bucket because one missed jump and I'll die from fall damage. And he said masters never die from fall damage. Okay, so 
so how do I get a water bucket then? Do you even have a house yet? Uh, no. No. All right, buddy. You should probably get a house first, like that one over there. You need something on the ground level, something where you don't have to go up high for. Are you serious? These are actually houses? Uh, okay. So how do I get a house? The master showed me the building where I could buy my yeah, parkour skyscraper. Uh, you're new here. I'll help you out a little bit. I'm kind of rich, so just take this and hopefully that will help you buy your first house. You're rich? Wait, what does that mean? It was already clear that Wait, I knew you nothing pay for about things what without parkour like here. The parkour master dropped me five oak blocks. Why would he drop me these? How much? Wait, how much is <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, we actually are gonna have to do a revolution because we're already three fourths of the way up and we're only halfway. So there's gotta be a, a like an actual revolution. But yeah, why why is there a um why is there like a payment? Why is there a payment? Um Yeah, like you have blocks instead of pinging per court. That doesn't it's make sense. It's a skyscraper to me, gonna personally. cost. I made my way over to the shop where I was gonna buy my first house as a parkour master. I walked inside and this store an looked alien. nothing like all of the other shops I bought houses from. Instead, there was just one giant hole in the middle. Okay, don't tell me I have to do this jump to buy a skyscraper. Is this even possible? Okay, clearly you have no idea how this works. You have to build your jump, buddy. Let's go. I could build my oh. own jump to pay for my house. Now I understand why the parkour master gave me these blocks all right what am i gonna build wait how do i even know this is gonna be enough to buy the house can't you just tell me how much the house costs no that's your job just warning you if you don't pay enough i'm not gonna sell you a house okay i have to guess the price that's just huh? great let's just hope this three block diagonal jump works nice all right did i get the house bro you're kidding right you're trying to buy a skyscraper. Why would you think that would work? If I had a dirt house to sell, I wouldn't even give it to you for that. Okay, that's not good. Now I just wasted three of the blocks I had. How am I possibly going to make a jump hard enough to buy like a skyscraper option. with it's one like block? Option. Okay, let's see. This is a three block jump and then into a two block jump. Oh God, I have an idea. You gotta do spins. I don't like it. But if I'm going to buy a parkour skyscraper, I think this is my only choice. This is such a bad idea. Why am I doing this? Whatever. I'm just going to go for it. One. Two. Ooh, oh, ooh. I can't believe I just made that. The I've double. I've never even seen a 360, but you just paid me with two in a row. This is incredible. Let me show you to your parkour skyscraper. If there's Thank one you. thing I know Thank about you. life in parkour civilization, that it's that a 360 can solve everything. Oh, right. There's a cleaning crew house. too. I have okay. To be the first and you're not getting a tip. History to have bought a house on the noob level, the pro level, and the master level. I cannot wait to check. How this do I out. get up wait, there? How do I even I get up there? There's no stairs. Oh yeah, usually when people buy this house, they water bucket from all the way up there to get inside. This, this is the worst house. Up there this is the worst house. One block? This no, is no. The worst Since house. you paid me a lot, I'll help you out. The guy told me I could use this block instead of water bucketing, but he said as a parkour master, if you're caught using this, everyone will make fun of you. That means I'm gonna have Ugh. to get a water bucket before I become okay. a social outcast up here. All right, time Fair to enough. check out the biggest house I've ever bought in parkour civilization. Ew, the downside it's about full being of a parkour drums. master is every jump in my life is now so much harder. The houses up here had so many more spaces to fall. Well, I even had the to upper class is so on the couch. But that's what it means to be a master uh, in parkour civilization. What? Parkour masters Taking are never advantage supposed of, to fall. They have no harder than everyone else. Jump is. That's so, the real that's the real that. message. The higher up in society you are, the harder your life is. That's the truth. You think the people at the bottom are the ones that are like getting hoed? Nah. It's the rich people. They're the ones getting hoed. To do all the I think you know what I think? I think the noobs should get like donate some of their raw chicken and raw beef to the masters because the masters clearly are burning more calories they need the hunger bars more because they're having to make harder jumps so we should tax them get some of their food because honestly what are they using it for all they're doing is jumping into into parkour prison like they're not even adding anything to society you know so take it from them Easy climb. These glass jumps every time Freedom I want to get prison. to the top floor of my house. When I climbed up the ladder, I was in my very own garden. I didn't even know nature like this still existed in parkour civilization, but now I have it in my house. This entire level of civilization was still so crazy to me. I couldn't even believe half of the things I was seeing. Never in my life would I have thought I would have to swim up a waterfall to get to the top floor of my house. I was so amazed by everything. No, around but we me want them. We want them to be in prison so that we can take advantage for, with of them for our parkour testing, right? Because remember, parkour testing is OP. That's how we were learning how glass jumps worked. You know what I mean? We have two noobs left. I don't think they want to get. They are gonna get anything out of them. That's kind of true. Yeah, we are kind of low on the lower class. 
We've already consumed even much, pay too much of the, to the fact that I was at two hearts. If I missed one of these jumps and took fall damage, it might be the end of me. But I'm a master Where are the now, parkour so I never friends? You have to do a lot of parkour I to get that. One parkour jump and I took one heart of damage, leaving me with one heart left. I was okay. so focused what on buying What do you mean parkour girlfriends I didn't next to how do we get more no slaves? Are those, no are those two separate questions or is that the same question? But parkour is currency and noobs can't purchase their parkour skills to improve their value. Well, they can. It's just risky. That's what the beef jumps were for. That was, you know, it's risky. They can, they just might die. I was still suffering the consequences from the ambush at the parkour temple. Now that I had time to process this I get consent with parkour? Hey, baby girl, you want a piece of this? Parkours, parkours, parkours. Check out this four block diagonal. No way that person acted alone. Someone didn't want me to rank up. And yeah, whoever yeah, that how is, do they reproduce still in parkour there. civilization? I didn't know. Maybe it was That's another actually parkour true. master, or maybe it was someone else. All I knew is that I was gonna have to figure out something quick if I wanted to survive. If I missed one more jump, my entire journey would be for nothing. So if I was gonna have any chance at surviving, I was gonna need to find a place to get food. I went down the parkour highway a until I saw a massive in building in the distance. I was sure. just hoping that this was a place maybe to the parkour get food champions a woman. Four hunger bars left, and like I don't a queen. Be. Think about what might happen if I lose. Maybe the, the yeah, maybe the parkour champion is like a to the building and the so top. far I didn't see anything that resembled food. All I saw were dispensers and hoppers. And that's where all the, the babies are coming from. All of from. the dispensers had different types of oh, parkour so items deep. listed above them. Maybe this was a place I could go and get more blocks to build more Bru jumps, or maybe not. Why don't these machines even work? I'm oh, not getting it. Hey, buddy, you're not seriously trying to rob the parkour bank, are you? The parkour bank? I already knew parkour was how people paid each other in parkour civilization, but this was different. Someone walked up with a piece of paper and put it into the dispenser. In exchange, Create they got wood blocks for it. I realized the, the paper the guy more? put into the dispenser was something I was already familiar with. It That's must facts. have been a daily task paper, which means not even being a parkour master can get me out of work. On the other side of the bank, I saw a staircase that was definitely too hard to do with one heart left. Hey man, I don't mean to assume anything, but the top floor is for people with money. You can come back it's when VIPs. you're rich, though. How does every parkour master know that this is my first day here? Alright, well, I found the bank, but that didn't help me at all. Bucket, the situation brother. was getting worse as I kept going on. You're I was now food, down dog. to three and a half hunger bars. Yeah. If I didn't get food within a few minutes, I would lose my sprint. And See, every rich every people starve all the time. Would be rich people need to be okay, fed. Okay, I really hope this place sells food. Yeah, this is the place for food. You just gotta build your jump. Oh, this is it. I'm done for. I have no blocks left. I have no way of paying for anything in parkour civilization. I'm well, gonna be the first parkour master in history to starve. How embarrassing is that? No. Wait a minute. Unless parkour can be used for anything. And that includes bribing parkour pros. Could I bribe a parkour master for food? No. Would that work? I mean, maybe it could- oh. Where did that person just come that from? That guy filled oh the water God. bucket. She probably fell from all the way up. She, she, oh. she, parkour woman. Parkour woman just died. The only parkour woman we've seen has just perished. It's over. It's over. We're about to have a, a parkour extinction. Well, free We're out. We're out. Oh, I'm saved. In my entire time in parkour civilization, maybe there's others. I've maybe there's others. Ice jumps. But now wasn't the time to be scared of jumps. I needed the food. All right. Nice what does food. two, three block ice jumps get me? Dude, you seriously paid that much? Wait, what do you mean paid that much? Did I pay a lot? Ice jumps were apparently worth a lot in parkour civilization because golden carrots. Four golden carrots. Please come back, bro. Anytime. Let's go. I'm not going to be the so first true. parkour master in history to starve. Now, I actually have a chance to start living life as a parkour master. I don't even know what to do now. Do I go to work? Or do I get a water bucket? You gotta bucket? get a water bucket. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely getting a water bucket. I took the parkour highway until I found a different the parkour building. highway. Yeah. This would be the place where I could get a water bucket. Because it didn't really seem like I was a parkour master until I got one. I walked into the building and I saw a oh. giant glass staircase with a small platform on top. And on the floor, it looked like there was some sort of target. You're here for a water bucket? Oh, why? Uh, yeah. Are you... Is this the place I get one? <laughs> just you don't just get completely one, you pay for one black. with your life. Climb up to the top of the staircase and grab a water bucket. If oh, you and then you drop it, down you on the target. Uh, of course, I have to risk my life yet again. Like, like, getting a water bucket you know is what I mean. the only thing different in parkour civilization. Usually, you pay for everything with parkour, but not this time. It didn't matter though. The fear of death never stopped me before. Yes sir, somehow he ran. I don't know. It doesn't matter. 
Maybe yes, sir. The, water, the master is got gotta be talking to the champion. It's gotta be the champion. To stop him. I somehow made it to the top of it's the last the staircase. I can confidently say that stairs are the worst thing about being a parkour master. But right now, stairs were the least of my worries. I opened the chest to see a bunch of water buckets. The only way I'm gonna be able to keep one of these is if I go for the water bucket jump and make it successfully. If I make it, I'll have the ability to unlock Take an them entirely all. new level of parkour. And if <laughs> so I don't, true. Well, my hoard them, hoard the resources. Like a That's good the parkour way life master. is in parkour civilization. You jump to survive. And I happen to be pretty good at it. Why did I do this to myself? I should have did never ranked up. I life lived. as a parkour noob was so yeah, much we, easier. We I gotta say, life okay. as a parkour master is awesome. I mean, this is what it's like being at the top of parkour civilization. No way. Did I seriously just catch another master doing a one block jump Ugh. to get to his house? Uh, no, I don't even know how this got here. Okay, now oh, I have to start clutch, going clutch, to my clutch. house the real way. And that means yeah, I give water buckets to the, the poor. Robin Hood this place. Parkour civilization, He's already given up on the poor. He doesn't care about the poor. doing one block jumps. If you're caught, you will basically become a laughing stock in Parkour City. I tried keeping. We have seen a crafting table. A there was a crafting table on the noob level at one point. In the, I think the very first house and the rich house. So they 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 exist. They're just rare. Long as possible because I was. But we don't have resources to, to craft the with. Real way. And, and I bet you know the, the poor have never been taught how to craft, right? The 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 parkour noobs they don't know how to craft, so they probably don't even know that they can. Real way to my house sucks. If I miss even never one of these water bucket before. jumps, it would be game over for me. But everyone up here knows that the best parkour masters never can take break, fall damage. Can and break I blocks, was gonna true. be one of the best. Please don't let me die. Oh, thank you. All that just to get to my house. But this is the price I paid to become a parkour master. I defied death too many times to I count to wake up. And now, as a master it's in parkour true. civilization, the only way to survive is by doing the hardest possible jumps. These were jumps I could only dream of when I was a parkour noob but now that i earn my water I can't believe he has I his own special move the i'm still stuck on master that. in parkour civilization my first days on this level were confusing but now i feel like i'm starting to get the hang of it as a parkour pro i was required to do a daily task every single day but now as a master i can choose one. to do a task whenever i want blocks? instead of being paid in practice time the masters get paid with blocks as a master if you want to pay for things you have to build your own jumps that means right. the more blocks you have the more powerful you are as a master and right now i Hoarding can't well make many parkour well. jumps so that's why i gotta work now uh, instead of paying with things with virtue you're paying with it with monetary means you know it, it's not even about parkour anymore is it i guess it is but it's also about blocks we can see how it's changing as we're climbing the ladder it's crazy Poor delivery here come in all right let's hope i can do this job well hey there you wanted some parkour built right yeah that's right i ordered my new chain couch you can put it right over there i can't say i've heard of a chain couch before but i guess there's a first time for everything uh all right i think i built this right is this what you wanted oh yeah this is a real couch maybe if you're as rich as me one day you can afford one of these uh sure uh well i hope Ooh. you enjoy your new oh sh Oh, dude, no, bro. Am I seriously not going to get a tip? Dude, that guy said he was rich too. Oh, the only thing he cares about is a tip. This guy's losing it. This guy's been lost to parkour. He only cares about tips when he watches somebody fall, right? You know, he's become, he's become cold. He's become unfeeling. And look at this couch. We're giving up on like actual utility for vanity, for vanity and extravagance. We're not even buying couches to be comfortable anymore because the richer you get, the more useless shit you buy. Whoa. I could have Whoa. some ice blocks or something. The truth about being a parkour master is that people don't always get it. It's all away. metaphor. Not only do you have to survive I also every want the jump, jump. Okay. but you have to be uh, ready to defend yourself with parkour. Whoa, 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 buddy. What do you think you're doing? Everyone knows I'm the guy who sells houses. Go and take a it's different job. job. Wait, what do you mean? My job today is to sell houses. You can't just skip one day? Come on, man. I need the money. That's it. Parkour battle. You and me right now. And by defend yourself, I mean being prepared for a random parkour blocks. battle at any point. For my first move, I attacked with a three-block diagonal jump into a three-block vertical diagonal jump. I thought it was a strong attack, but the parkour master clearly had no problem with it. Now, it was his turn to attack, and I was in serious yeah, trouble. You need to be the parkour master built a three-block chain jump. He has Let's things you that tried to defend doesn't... against this attack, buddy. Wait, I don't even have chain Does he auto-fail? I can't do this jump. 
Then you have officially lost the parkour battle, and the selling Ooh. house job is mine again. And there it was. That was Yo. the first time losing a parkour battle. But that's just a part of the learning process. Lost on a technicality. A parkour master. But even though I've learned so much, there's one thing wow. that I've yet wow. to figure out. And that's how Broke to get diff. to the top of the parkour temple. If I make it up there, I could potentially be the parkour champion. But I didn't see a way up. Back when I was but a what parkour What are you going to do if you are the, the parkour path champion, on the bro? side of the wall to rank up. But now there's nothing here. That's because you can't see. See it. It's said that only the parkour champion knows the way up. Standing behind me was the master that I beat in my Whoa. first parkour battle. He was the one who gave me he the was lit, of he, I like helped this me guy. find the way past the impossible jump. Yeah. Without his help, I would have never become a parkour exactly. master. Exactly. And I wouldn't even be alive right now. I knew giving you that totem of undying was a good choice. Now that you ranked up, you have the chance to save all of parkour civilization. Yo, I'm the chosen one. The champion. Save parkour civilization? Wait, what are you talking about? Why do I need to be the one to become Why the parkour do champion? I need to you be don't the one. understand. We are at war. We thought all hope was lost before you ranked up. You don't understand. People aren't supposed to rank up, but you did it anyways. You need to come with me now. Whoa. What is going on? There's a parkour war, and somehow I'm supposed to be the, the champion? The parkour deep oh, state. what am I getting myself into? Enemies to friends trope. Up, happy in my mansion. No, no, no. The Enemies to lovers trope. We're about to figure out how reproduction works in parkour room. land. When I walked inside, I saw a small-scale <gasps> version of a map of the entire okay. parkour civilization. The master said he had a mission for me. He told me to travel as far north as I could and find the highest parkour highway there is. Exactly. He told me there's a building there that's extremely difficult to get into, but if I could get into it, I could get the truth about parkour civilization. He told me to go at night, and if I succeed, Go I at might night? We have to do night everyone. jumps? We've never it done night time. jumps before. I woke up in the middle of the night. This was a stealth mission. Parkour and battle and whoever loses ends up plan, I would get in me and get out and no one would see me. And obviously, that's assuming the parkour master <laughs> isn't leading me into a trap. <laughs> but for whatever it's worth, I trust him. If that was in game. That was in game. That was not real. He wouldn't have given me the in totem game, of game. undying. That means I can only assume if he wanted me dead, I would have been dead already. But at this point, I wasn't doing right. it for the parkour master. We're I was doing out. it for me. If there I'm pregnant. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. Out the truth about parkour. I'm a bottom. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. All I know is someone tried to stop me from ranking up, and this place might give me answers. I traveled north like the master oh, there told it is. me to, and yeah. all the way at the top, I saw the parkour highway I needed to get to. There was no turning back now. Going up this might be a one-way trip. In Minecraft. <laughs> Actually could save parkour civilization, True. then someone's got to be the one to do it. So why not me? Now that I was at the top of the so staircase, why not getting me? to the Good parkour mentality. highway was a different story. I didn't even know if this jump no, was possible. No, because parkour sex is all about, like, you have the person that jumps, and then you have the person that is the block that is landed on, right? So one person is the parkour, and the other person does the parkour, hence top and bottom. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. I backed up to get momentum, and I jumped. No, no, no! I thought it was too short, nice, but I nice, made it. Nice. Okay, that was way too close. That so do you want to be the block, or do you want to be like the, uh, Given that this place jumper. I was trying to find wasn't Thank supposed you, Dr. to be found, parkour that probably page. wouldn't be the case. I, got I kept you, going I got on the parkour highway until I saw a building. This one looked different than all I the other the buildings jump. in Parkour How are you City, and I had a feeling that it wasn't going to be easy to get to. That's what the parkour masters do a lot. The guy who's... Never failed. I've been to a couple parkour master parties. Yeah, let's parties. pretend that's true. The Here's entrance some crazy to the building jumps, looked right? like it was guarded by a difficult parkour course. As long as there were no people box. around, I was just fine with doing parkour. But if people were to show up and challenge me to a parkour battle, well, it's been a good run. This next jump was a four, four block? block jump. I don't First think I've ever blocker? done a four block jump straight up before, but the master said that this mission would be difficult. And if there's <laughs> someone to do it, it was going to be me. I got momentum and I made the four block jump. Uh. Oh, four block jump down. And now, oh my God, what is this? I stood on a path of ice blocks. And at the end, there was a jump way too far to even comprehend. This could have been a five. We got to do like oh, a boom, boom, boom. boom we got to do a speed run. I couldn't run. believe it. Speed I tried jump, looking speed around jump. for barrel Hardcore blocks. sex role play channel in the Discord. There was a path to this as well, but I found nothing. Somehow, I was going to have to make this jump and i think i had an idea of how i might be able to do it okay well i get one chance at this oh man if only i was rich enough to buy ice blocks to practice oh nice, i do nice, not nice. want to do that again there must be a parkour Wait, well, looking you don't have a way to get okay, back back to i the guess we, we just gotta jump now, to the i was just hoping i didn't walk into tough. an ambush i walked inside and i saw a giant hole in the floor with some parkour jumps up top 
I was thankful that I didn't see anyone waiting for me. And what I wasn't thankful for was this glass pane staircase. Oh man, why do they have to make staircases so complicated in parkour civilization? This was supposed to be a stealth mission, but the staircase <laughs> is making it really hard for that to be possible. After too long, I made it up the staircase. Do you think anybody's made a map floor. of this I looked for around, real? But didn't like, is there a way I could like open up Minecraft right now and play these jumps? Wouldn't that be great? I could I could immerse myself into parkour civilization by like being a noob and then like becoming the parkour champion. I saw was some weird pedestal Next in the middle just and dropped. some giant screen. What Dropping is... all reactions, replacing it with Minecraft, Minecraft parkour civilization roleplay. This thing, this looks so, what the? Look, I told you it was possible. No way, that was actually incredible. All right, well, I got my money's worth. Let's go, I got paid for parkour. <gasps> if you want, I can See keep... what's gonna be the parkour champion. It's gonna be see what. Be more parkour for you to do, and I'll pay you for it. Well, what just happened? How did I see that? He's vision? got a flashback. That's my memory, isn't it? That see what? I lived that before. What is going on? I walked over to the screen and opened the book on the desk. It said enter, enter user. user. Well, I was here for information, wasn't I? Might as well see what this does. I put my name into the book and put it back on the desk, and text appeared on the screen. Rank noob. Wait, put see what in. It'll say though. champion. But before I could think any further, someone appeared Who's right that? behind me. Before they saw me, I ran and hid behind the bush. Oh no, this is not. He's hiding by the oh bush. man, going into work late today, I guess, or early maybe, I don't know. So far, the person didn't see me, but that's when someone else came into the room. It was Siwat. I know him, don't I? Oh, He's from my only a master. I saw him walk up to the desk and start what? putting something in the book. And the player that was on the pedestal started moving. I watched as this player with no boots walked up to a parkour jump and no failed boots. the one block jump. And we got another noob. Good. We needed more of those. <gasps> this is the reproduction going? system. Reproduction. Fresh out of the womb. On here. You can come out from behind. Is the champion got like a harem up top and how that's how we're reproducing? That's why they're falling from the up above? The champion is the queen bee. That bush, you know. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, okay, shoot. time to improvise. I mean, bro, the bush is see-through. You really thought that was gonna work? Okay, can you just tell me what's going on? It's an Why allegory for allegories. Stepped on that pedestal. We know each other. That's our memory. Nope. That's just what every new person sees. It's a fake memory to make you think that parkour is how you succeed in life. I mean, <gasps> why else would people parkour if it wasn't for money or social status? So, yo, is this a lie? I don't get it. What is this for? Yo, three jumps. That new player just—they're tricked into wanting parkour. That's actually peak. That's actually peak fiction. It's like Rousseau. Absolute parkour. He fell through on the first one. What happened to him? See what explained that these three. The first jumps is noob, then the new yeah. player becomes a yeah. noob, a pro, or a master. These three Yo. jumps right when you join parkour civilization decide your entire fate. How is that fair? It's not about fair. It's about order. If you can't parkour, Ooh. you deserve to be at the bottom. This is, so up. this is so messed up. How is this happening? I can't let this keep going on. I have to find a way to stop this. Okay. You deserve to be at the, the bottom. Jump, you can't parkour. No choice but to battle. Parkour. Has been associated with like he'll never be able to do it. It's time to go for the 720. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I the looked over and see what already had an attack built. It was with candles. Yep, candle jump. One attack from this and it does 10 hearts, and that's good night for you. I was finished. What? That's breaking the rules. No attack has ever done more than four hearts before. No attack. And this one just does 10. I couldn't attack. I couldn't do anything. I was defenseless. So what happens now? Despite my best efforts to get rid of you, I couldn't do it, so someone else will. See what placed down a parkour jump made out of brewing stands. Brewing I've stands? I've never even heard of parkour with brewing stands before. Interesting thing about brewing stand jumps, they aren't just difficult, but they can deal any potion effect you want. This was it. I had no brewing Blindness. stands to defend myself. I took the hit and slowly started fading Nausea. away. Have fun with the champion in the arena. No pressure. He got poisoned, oh, and now he's gonna get put in the arena. Parkour champion. All right, I'm gonna take. Oh my goodness, he has to fight the champion. I really just hope what is going on? that the greatest player in parkour take more, civilization take more. doesn't know how to do a 360. I was now getting ready to fight the parkour champion in the arena. The he's only taking four stairs. Why? Only allowed to bring in 64 blocks. He's acting fight. poor to stay rich. I had no clue what the parkour champion was gonna. You gotta be grabbing more of everything. So I decided to take some of every block. This was life or death. If by some miracle I could defend the parkour champion's attacks, I 
I would have to use these blocks to build the hardest parkour jumps Lock I've ever in. done. I Lock wanted in. to believe that I could win, but deep down, I knew that this could very well be the end of my journey. Before you step into the arena, drop all of your blocks. I need to count if you are bringing 64. These are the oh, blocks I'm bringing. Bring it should add up to 64. You're good. You may now fight the parkour champion. That makes sense. This was it. One way or another, this would be my final battle in parkour civilization. The door opened, and Is I stepped gonna be people into cheering? the parkour arena. It was Wait, time for parkour civilization. Game mode one. These are the right this now. was it. One add up here, another. Okay, this would be my final it. battle in parkour civilization. That'd the door really opened <laughs> and I stepped in. <laughs> if like, if like one frame of it saying like back to survival mode, that'd be so funny. Arena. It was time to fight. If I somehow beat the parkour champion, maybe I have a way to save. Yeah, there's no audience. It's just a one v one, bro. But if I lose, for the thrill which, of the let's battle. be honest here, is very much possible. This is well, what people at the top of society gotta do. Long time ago. This is the type of shit they do to entertain themselves. Because they're no longer happy just going to work. Where They're no longer happy just eating their rank up in society. But I was wrong. I discovered the truth that your entire fate is decided by three jumps. And there are people at the top of parkour civilization that will stop at nothing to keep this order. Unfortunately, I couldn't discover the truth without paying the price. And now there's nothing I can How do. How much is left? Fun with the champion in the arena. 30 minutes. And now it's time to fight the champion. Wait, what? That's You're Iron Boots. Champion? Who are you? You're a Bro, what are you doing here? I thought I was fighting the are champion. You the warm up? Oh yeah, you have to fight me first. Please just go easy on me though. It's my first time here. Okay, I guess I'm not okay. fighting the champion first. I have to fight a parkour pro. This is really weird. <laughs> this is I've like never even a fought sure, a pro. Kinda. What jumps can they even do? I forgot. For my first attack, I attacked with a three-block vertical you jump. Can do better I didn't want to do anything too crazy on my first attack because if I missed and let him get the chance to attack, I run the risk of taking damage. But fortunately, oh, nice. it seemed like this fight was going to be easy. Easier than I thought until something happened the blocks that I used for my attack all disappeared <gasps> in the parkour arena If you place blocks, you will never get them back and oh, now I realized no. why I was fighting a parkour pro It was They're genius, weakening actually. him if I wasted all of my blocks before getting to the champion I would have no fighting that's game. unfair hey, uh, question the people who put you here What did they say you were here for? Oh, yeah, they said I would be warming up the crowd, you know for like the fight. What crowd? warming up the crowd uh, You know, there's literally no one watching right? Yeah, I know. Please just get this over with. Oh, God, I'm a terrible person. Man, this is the weirdest parkour battle ever. For my second attack, I built a four-block jump. And, of course, it's it was successful so once again. True. But at this point, I wasn't worried about winning. I was worried about the blocks I was yeah, losing we got for a every attack. There was we no way I could afford to use more than two blocks for an attack. At least not in this fight. For the final attack, I did a backwards, a backwards? jump. Did you just go backwards? This is not going to be pretty. Oh, shoot. What is this guy doing? That was not how I thought it was going to turn out. It was a little right, well, unfortunate that I essentially wasted That's okay. two blocks we, on that we jump. We barely wasted anything. Even try it, but we barely wasted anything. I survived anything. the first parkour battle without taking any damage. So now what happens? Do I fight the champion? I stood there on the platform not knowing what to do until oh, I saw someone jumping master. towards me. All right, this is it. This is the battle for life or death. Let's get this over with. So you must be the champion, right? Me? The champion? Yeah, You're econ joking, rounds. Right? These are econ econ rounds. Boots. I'm a master. Do these look diamond to you? Okay, well, I don't know. I thought I was fighting the champion. Bro, so and the, the champion's happen? gonna have, like, infinite more blocks. To go through if you want to see the champion, two but more? you're not making it past me. Let's go start the battle. This is not good. I have to win two more go for the beef, battles no if I want to even see the if champion. You be the chosen, it was clear that the, the odds were stacked against me, but that wasn't going to stop become a beef from believer. Now I was fighting against a master. This means I couldn't hold beef back with my attacks. Cringe I was going to have to attack with harder jumps. I decided this was a good time to use beef one of believer, my stairs. For my cringer. first attack, I, I did a you. four block diagonal stair jump, but I was in trouble. Even for myself, I knew the attack was too easy. <laughs> That's what you're attacking me with? I was getting ready for the master to easily defend my attack, but by some Ooh. miracle, he failed it. What? The master didn't know, but I realized he built the jump wrong. He tried doing a harder jump than my attack. I got lucky with that first attack, but that wasn't going to happen again. Stare. I needed to do harder jumps. I used two more of my stairs to build another four block diagonal jump. If I make this, I would only need one more You're attack to win stairs, back, though, bro. But I missed. I came so close, but I didn't land on the stair. <laughs> Wasted another two stairs, I see. Even if you do beat me, you'll have no blocks to fight the champion with. The master was right. I was running out of blocks. This guy quickly. knows what he's doing, I only doing had too. one stair left, and I wasn't even done with my second battle. I watched as the master built his first attack. I was going to have to defend myself against a four-block ice jump. Go on. Use some of your ice blocks. I'm sure you don't have that many of them. He was right. I only had four ice blocks with me. Even the best case scenario yeah, where he I failed his attack, attack so I'll he only have two ice blocks left. I went for the jump, and I almost slid off, but I nice, stayed on. Nice, nice, oh, nice. that was too close. Okay, 
It was now my turn to attack, but this battle was taking too long. I knew what the manager first, was doing. Built he was trying to make true. me waste all of my blocks, <laughs> but there was no way I could let that happen, which means I could he only just do uses one thing. Like I needed to blocks. build an attack that would end this battle right <laughs> now, fast. and I knew just the way to do it. In a parkour battle, the harder the attack is, the more damage it does. And I was about to attack okay, with it does more, one of the scales. hardest parkour okay. combos I've ever done. All right, four block jump into you can a do two 360s. block. Let's do this. I attacked with a four block jump into a 360, and I made nice, it. Nice. Oh, let's go. I actually made it. That was the craziest parkour combo I've ever done. All right, buddy. Your turn. Four block jump into a two block 360. This is impossible. I watched as the parkour master attempted the combo and failed. Ugh. And the damage was enough to win the parkour battle. Nice. It, it worked. That parkour combo that I did may have just saved my life, at least for now. If that master was telling the truth, I still have to win one more battle if I want to fight the champion. There was nothing else I could do. I tried looking around for a way to escape, but there was nowhere I could go. The only way out of this arena is to continue fighting. From across the arena, the path opened up and my oh, third opponent jumped towards me. Fbo, you've come so far, but this is as far as the you guy go. That went in the I'm water afraid bucket you won't temple. make it past me to fight the champion. Let's begin. Okay, let's do this. It's just another master. I just beat one before, and I can do it again. If I could finish this battle with a couple parkour combos, I might have enough blocks to fight the champion. For my first attack, I decided to build two four-block jumps. I thought this combo would be hard, but yeah. I had no clue who I was facing. The master made the jumps easily, and my attack was unsuccessful. Now, I was in huge trouble. Unlike all the other people I faced in parkour battles, this oh, master was shoot. not this afraid to cooking. attack with his own parkour combos. And unfortunately for me, his was much harder than mine. The second jump in the combo was a jump that I didn't think would be possible. It was too far, but I had to try. My life depended on this. I went to defend the attack, oh. but I overjumped it. The attack dealt five oh. hearts of damage. Oh, this is not good. This is really not good. I managed to gain back two hearts, but my hunger was lost. This was it. No more second chances. No more regenerating health. I had to make these jumps. The parkour master attacked with an even harder combo, this time using two chains and an ice block. But by some miracle, I made it. Oh man, how Huge. did I just do that? This master was too good. No matter what I'm running out of, of like, I knew he could make it. That's why left. I was gonna have to do something that's one never stair, been done in chains. the history of parkour battles. And I was gonna have to do this first try. Finish it off with the three block candle jump, and we are done. Let's go. I'm probably gonna He's trying to one shot him. Do this. He's trying Power to one shot jump him. to chain, chain to backwards jump to 360 Ooh. fence jump, Ooh. diagonal Ooh. Chain jump oh. to the candle. I, oh, I, I did it. Okay. I the hardest parkour combo in the world. Evbo, the champion tasked me with making sure you don't rank up, but I now realize that's not possible. Your parkour is beyond me. You have my respect. He's putting Good respect on him, bro. The champion. <gasps> he kills himself. The master gave up and just jumped Whoa. Up. I, I mean, the, throws the, himself the, into the void. Which means now I only have to battle the champion. Okay. And the champion That's a good strat. Is the one just make tried to stop me from a ranking super up long, like, 30-step one with every <laughs> single block you have. All of this parkour just to die by the champion. This was it. Standing in front of me was okay. the champion of parkour civilization. You put up a good That's fight. It. I'll give you that. But this ends here. I watched as the parkour champion built his first attack, and it was a five. A block five block. <gasps> you beat me in this battle. Somebody you said that in chat earlier that champion. the champions and can even do five block jumps. That makes me <laughs> actually, he actually is gonna try. Parkour civilization, and I never lose. The parkour champion made the five block jump. It's not. Did he possible. use a barrier? It's just not. I. I can't do it. This was it. This was the end. There was no second chance. No backup I could call for. Nothing to get me out of this. I lost. And you have I to be the chosen one. The one to save parkour civilization. No. <gasps> I opened my eyes and I was in a place that I knew all too well. I was down at the bottom. I was Back to the bottom. The no. Parkour civilization. No. no. And I had leather boots on. After the battle. No, we're a noob again. I, and now a noob again. I let everyone down. I was supposed no. to be the one to save parkour civilization. And I couldn't do it. And now the champion gets what he wants. No one can ever rank up ever again. No one's free. People risked their lives because they trusted me to help them. And I failed. And it was all for nothing. Now I'm just at the bottom again. I don't even have spring. No, don't do it. Do more than don't do it. Jump. It's over. Okay, right? I thought he was going to throw himself into the gave me the last to ticket to rank up. And Where's the even old man? If I did. What's the point? The only way I could save people is by becoming the champion. And he's impossible to beat. Uh, well, it's out of my hands now. There's nothing to do. I mean, 
maybe I just go back to parkour prison. At least there I could He's get fed some better food. Prison. Rather have fish than raw chicken. Down at the bottom again, are we? What? Maybe I was wrong about that, you. You were wrong about me? Wait, who are you? Who are you? Something tells me you already know what the kind of answer. Boots are those? The strange man turned around and he was wearing netherite, netherite, netherite boots. Oh, netherite boots. Again. There must be a parkour god looking out for me. A parkour god! It's parkour, parkour god! god? Like, it's like, like, I called parkour god. I called parkour god. I actually never called intended that. to divide people. But the new champion had different plans. <laughs> oh man, amen to parkour god. I called for you. I'm sorry you put your trust in me. I thought I was good enough. The divine parkour god. All hope is lost. I mean, the old I, man was parkour Moses. I'm back at the noob level. I can't get a ticket anymore. I can't even. No, sprint. but why do we fall? One block jump. Parkour gonna do noob. It. It's the parkour champion. As long as you can parkour, so that there is always a way. The parkour guy yeah, the yeah, boots yeah. on the ground and jumped away. What is going on? I jumped over and grabbed the boots that the parkour god left. These were no ordinary a boots. A new champion. These were diamond. Only the parkour champion wears these. You must and fall now, to rise. I have them. I threw away my leather boots and I put on the champion boots. Ooh, the full, the full my food. Bar returned to full, and I could see above into the upper layers. Oh my God, this is crazy! What is going on? What is going on? I don't know where the parkour god got these boots from or why he would trust me with them, but it didn't matter. This the was my second one. chance. I don't know how the I'm divine gonna blessing. up to the top, but I'm gonna find a way. Parkour Everyone's god life depends on this, and that's why I'm life. gonna be the one to save Sometimes parkour life civilization. Feels like a five parkour jump. civilization was in danger. I thought people could parkour parkour their way up to a better life, but I realized it was all just a lie. The truth is that the parkour champion controls everyone and everything. I thought I could be the one He's to even buffed. It and save he had everyone, a potion buff. but I failed. Luckily for me, potion of swiftness chances come around quite often, and I still Wait, have one Wait, he might be he's probably using potions to, to make it five block jump. The only way I can put an end to all this he's not is built different. He's just champion. taking steroids. He's taking parkour I have to get steroids. Back up to the arena somehow, and that was gonna be harder than I thought. I had diamond boots on, meaning the barriers to the parkour temple shouldn't be here, but they were, and I had no way up. That means somehow I was gonna have to get a ticket. Oh, this is not good. I can't even earn a ticket myself, meaning the, the only man? way I'm gonna get one is if man? some other noob has one but even if i got lucky and a noob hasn't used their ticket already i Why couldn't would they give find anyone i was beginning oh, to think that there were no noobs left and they were all in prison <gasps> until i finally found one still standing i asked the noob if there was any chance he had a ticket or even knew someone with a ticket so i could get into the temple but he said that pros don't come down here anymore and do ticket challenges it's now impossible for parkour noobs to rank up at all the champion this is has to be it. the champion that's why parkour if god pros has to step don't in. come down here at all the noobs have no way of getting food that means if They're I don't get up death. in time and beat the champion, everyone down here will die. There has to be a way I can get past these barriers. I mean, the parkour the guy wouldn't have given me champion boots for nothing, right? And that's when I remembered. I had champion boots on now. These boots were meant for the person that rules parkour civilization. And that's when I thought back to what the champion said. If you beat me in this battle, you become the parkour champion. And you could be the one that makes the rules. If the parkour champion makes the rules, they had to be then the Then I eliminate the barrier. Them, which means if someone placed them, someone can get rid of them. It was a shot in the dark, but I thought I'd at least try. Oh, this is pointless. Detroit this is not become parkour. Wait, what? It, it broke. I couldn't believe it, but there it was. I was staring at a hole in the barriers. This is insane. It's I like the matrix. Barriers now? Ah, oh, thank you, parkour god. Let's go. I got rid of more of the barriers until there was a space big enough to jump through. All right, let me make sure I'm not hitting my head on any of these. And now it's time to go save everyone. I did it. I thought it was gonna now fall. Now inside the I'm parkour temple, and I was. <laughs> I thought he was gonna fall right to there. To getting back up to the top. Okay. Now that I was in the temple, it was time to start actually coming up. This with place the is nothing. I was gonna have to find a way to worse. somehow get back into the arena and fight the champion. And even if I do manage to do that, I still have to worry about beating him, which is a whole us. other story. My rough draft of a plan involved grabbing blocks, and I thought I could get some here, but the chests were empty. Those chests Whoa. were usually filled with Trickle blocks down for economy the pros to collapsed. do their daily tasks, but someone got rid of all of them. My idea of getting blocks was already off to a bad start, but I had a backup plan. The champion's like starving the population. More. I made it back up to the second layer of parkour civilization, but now was no time to celebrate. I still had such a long way to go 
go to get up to the third layer and time was running out. I made my way over to the place where I could get Dude, all the blocks the I needed. Boots. The parkour I'm training so grounds there. should have thousands of blocks I could use. The last time I was in here, I was training to rank up to become a master, but something was off. The course I built to practice to rank up was still here. This doesn't make sense. Oh, have they've all closed the down the training been place. practicing this course I built? But that's when my situation just got a whole lot worse. Oh, no, 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 come on, they can't be empty. Why are they empty? All of these chests should have been filled with blocks to build parkour jumps, but they were all empty. Okay, this is not good. This is really not good. Something strange was going on, and I needed to find some answers. But if I you're the chosen one, you can start breaking stuff when down, I was a right? Can you, can you if there was anyone now? I could trust to talk to, it would be my neighbor. And that was assuming he was still alive. I found the house where my neighbor used to live, and thankfully, oh. parkour civilization is that hadn't him? claimed what is him that? just yet. Oh, yeah, Echo, you're alive, and you're the parkour champion well i'm not really the champion i mean i guess technically i am i don't know it's a long story i asked my neighbor what was going on and he said everything has changed he said that parkour pros aren't allowed to go down to the noob level anymore and some masters came down and took every block and they can't even practice anymore this was it this was truly the end of parkour the collapse of the middle class First it was the noobs because all the wealth now has been hoarded are, by the top class soon, it might even be the masters That's crazy. one by one the parkour champion is taking away the parkour free will of everyone and if so i don't now, there will be no one left to oppose him. All right, no pressure. The fate of the world is in my hands, and now I have to speedrun one of the hardest parkour courses there is. Unlike getting up to the pro level, there was no easy way up to the master level. If you wanted to get back, you had to do the course. Even though I've made this course oh, before, this was, was different. Thing, Time so was, was running so out, meaning I, like, I couldn't waste any fail. taking okay. this parkour course slow. And I can't afford to miss a single jump, because if I do, well, then I guess the parkour god trusted the wrong person. Luckily, I made the course, and I was now at the master level. And now I was at one part of my master plan, which, well, has not been going to plan at all. If I don't get these gold boots, okay, thank you. Finally, something goes according to my plan. I didn't know if I would still get master gonna boots pretend if to I be had a champion boots. boots on, but luckily, I got an extra pair. Now that I was okay. on the master level, I had to blend in. Ooh. Any one of these masters could be working for the champion, and if they saw me with champion boots on, smart, well, that's smart, attention that I definitely do not want right now. At least with the gold boots on, the people working for the champion might not recognize me. Now was the next part of my plan. If I have any shot at all of getting back into the arena, I was gonna need the parkour master that saved my life. But when I went into the secret room in the parkour temple, he was nowhere to be found. Of course, I knew it was too good to be true to have two things in my plan go smoothly. Now, I gotta improvise. Now, I had to figure out where the parkour master lived, and I had no way of knowing which house he had. The only thing I could do is sit and wait for him to show up. But if I stayed down here, I run the risk of the masters on the champion's side finding me. I needed somewhere that would at least buy me a little more time, and the the only place I thought of was to wait at the very top of the parkour staircase. At least here, I won't be seen that easily, but if I had to get mm. down fast, I had no water bucket to save me. I realized I was standing so close to the barrier between the master and the champion Can levels, and now I have champion boots. Meaning wait, I he's gonna, he's on, gonna climb, he's gonna climb out. What life is like at the champion level, gonna see but before through, I could put see them on, I saw the parkour master I was looking for. Now, this is the part I was not looking for. I thought he was gonna put them on and start no digging through the roof, bro. <laughs> is by taking fall damage. And I'm just hoping that the drop to his house isn't too far. And of course, it's a 50 block drop. I'm never surviving that. Oh man, I have an idea and I don't like it. Yep, this is officially the worst idea I've ever had. Okay, no more thinking. Let's just do this. I got momentum and I jumped. Ooh. I thought it was too short, but I made it. Huge. Oh, that was okay. so crazy. I know the parkour god does not like me for that one. Even though I barely survived, I found the parkour master without being caught. And now it was time to carry out my plan to save parkour civilization. I told the master everything that happened, and I showed him that I had champion boots. I told him that if I was gonna beat the champion, I would need his help. I can't Yo, believe you survived, him. and you met the parkour god. We can we actually save feet. everyone. Just tell me what I need to do, and I'll do it. I had the master give me some blocks, and I told him to wait here for the next part of my plan. If Maybe you can't break dirt, right, because dirt was like put I down by the parkour god, the arena and that even supersedes the parkour, the parkour champion, champion But do. that's assuming everything goes right, and right. so far, Because the parkour god made the layers. I jumped over to the parkour champion parkour started bank. To get back them into the away, arena, so I was gonna need more difficult blocks to climb, build parkour with, and I think I know how to get some. Hey man, I don't mean to assume anything, but the Oh, the VIP area, okay. 
right? Back when you're rich, though. Upstairs, yeah, the sacred ground, the where the yeah. bank keeps their harder blocks. Sir, you're not allowed to go up there. Sorry, man. Got a bank to ra- Okay, never mind. I was expecting to see places where I could buy flower pots and candles, but instead, there was just a massive box with a door. Sir, this is a private vault for one of our most valuable customers. You have to leave immediately. A just break in. Vault? Vault? Uh, I guess vault. that might work. You're not getting into this vault. No amount of money could make me open this door. No amount of money? Man, this guy clearly has never heard of one of my bribes before. Just stop. It's not even worth it. What? What do you say you open the door now? Backwards 720. You don't see a backwards 360 too often. Oh, backwards 360. Okay, well, I have to let you in now. <laughs> Let's go. I still got yeah. it. Please yeah, just yeah, don't yeah, take yeah, yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not listening to that. I started looking around the vault for anything I could use, but most of the chests were empty until I finally stumbled mm? upon a water bucket. Okay. okay. One I water need bucket. Blocks, but I guess I'll take this. I don't get it. Whoever owns this vault is supposedly rich, and the only thing I found is a water bucket. Oh. And 16 blocks. Never mind. A crafting table. This vault was a dead end. He's gonna learn to craft. In the last oh, broom barrel, stand? Broom I found stand? 16 brewing stands. Now my plan could actually work. It was time to go defeat the park. No, he's chamber. not crafting uh, still. Sir, I just wanted to let you know someone got into your vault. You're the only one who has access to it. So explain to me how that happened. I mean, I'm sorry, sir, but he bribed me with a backwards 360. Oh I had no! To. Only one oh, person uses 360s. There's he knows no one exactly that can do a. Is. No. No, exactly. how is this possible? You know, someone told me something interesting about brewing oh! stands. They're not just difficult, but they can deal any potion effect you want. He's That's there! I wish you the best of luck in this parkour battle, because if you don't make this jump, you're getting the slowness effect. I watched oh! this Seawatt tried to defend my attack, but he failed. All right, slowness. now it's time for some Brutal. answers. I need you to tell me how to beat the parkour champion. You're crazy if you think I'm telling you that. Yep, I thought you might say that. Let's see, three block. Oh, that's plenty. All right, one more chance to tell me. With unless slowness. you want to defend another one of my attacks. I think I can handle a three block. All right, man. If you think you can make this jump with slowness, be my guest. I'm just going to let you know now that it's not possible. So in a couple jumps, you'll lose everything. Okay, wait, don't. I'll tell you. Please, Brutal. I like my life here. Well, that was easy. Ugh, I can't believe I'm telling you this. The champion uses barrier blocks to parkour. I knew it. I called that. I called that. That was my first call. The second call was speed, but that's the first call. Right. The five block jump was impossible. He just used a barrier. Okay, wait. So if he uses barriers for his attacks, how do I defend against that? You need a barrier. How do we get barriers? The champion finds out about this. I'm going to lose everything. The old man got a barrier. Tell me. How did the old man get one? There's a secret rule in parkour battles that says if you build a harder jump than an opponent's attack, your opponent will have to do that jump instead. That's how I what? beat it. I can just attack with a harder jump. A Even jump does harder than a five block? Attacks, I just have to build better ones. Oh, man, That's this is crazy. crazy. All right, let's do this. You need to send me back to the arena like you did before. And this time, I'm only fighting the champion. <laughs> okay, so if you let me attack With 30 you, plates and a brewing stand? You once and for all. Yeah, That's I crazy. thought you might say that. That's why I got one of the best parkour masters I know to watch you at all times. And if he finds out I don't make it into the arena, <laughs> Walter <laughs> let's White. just say you won't see the attack coming before it hits you. Oh man, this guy's how do you even train these jumps? I really okay, this guy has no idea what he's doing. This There's guy no sucks. way I can okay, make one of over. these. It's Just a bluff. as I thought, it's a bluff. It's a bluff. had no choice but to listen to me. Now, all that I was hoping for is that I would wake up in the arena. I knew Siwa couldn't be trusted, but I had no choice. This was the only way I could <laughs> okay, get new blocks. the arena. We can get new blocks. And luckily, Sorry, it worked. Now, I could battle the parkour champion, and this time, right. it was going to be different. I got all of the blocks I needed, and okay, I made okay, my okay. way blocks, into the blocks. arena. Now, it was time to see if Siwa was going to uphold his end of the deal. But he did. Standing in front of me was the champion of parkour right. civilization. All for this. All, right. All for this. Safe, everyone. <laughs> Round two, the chosen one is back. I should have known the old man would give his boost to you. What? The old the man. Old man? Doesn't Yo! Matter. You can try the as old many man. times as you want, but your fate remains the same. The, the old man was didn't just parkour give me Jesus. Random champion boots. He gave me the old man's. He was the old parkour champion. Okay. Whoa. This is what I'm about right now I just got to worry about defending this attack. Oh my goodness! The old man was Plato. It is allegory of the cave. It's allegory of the cave. But the old man was the person that left the cave and came back. That's crazy. Really telling the truth. The champion's attack was technically only a four. It wasn't. Jump it was. We are the next. The next wave, bro. Should be harder. I countered with a three block 360 to a three block fence jump. What? The parkour champion looked confused, and suddenly his attack disappeared. 
It worked. It actually worked. The secret rule Seawalk told me about was real. And now the champion has no choice but to defend my attack. Except just when I thought I had the upper hand in the battle, the champion pulled out barrier blocks. Instead of building my jump, the champion built some invisible parkour combo. The barriers were invisible, and I had no way of knowing what sort of parkour oh, combo he built. You just have to make but something really it was, strong. It was better than my attack, and my attack was now erased. That only Yo. left me with one choice, and I would have you to make build something even one. harder. I didn't even know what the champion built, so I couldn't hold back on this next attack. I knew I had to risk it all. Okay. I pulled out a 180 vertical Ooh. flower pot Ooh. into Ooh. a backwards 360 candle jump. And I made it. The parkour champion's attack was erased. What do you he got? had what no you got? choice but got? to either try my attack or build a harder one. But the parkour champion wasn't phased. And he countered my attack with the hardest known jumps in parkour civilization. These were Neo jumps. Ooh. And he did two in a row. Jumps where you have to jump around a block in midair. I knew I couldn't do these jumps, and this was not the time to try them. But the parkour champion set the bar high. Meaning if my next attack isn't harder than his, I lose everything. But if I don't make this jump I'm about to build, my entire journey is over. But that means the same goes for the parkour. Yo. Any one of these attacks will do more than 10 hearts. That Ninja means Warrior I have course. to make this. The parkour god trusted me with these boots to save everyone. And for the first time in my life, Whew. I actually felt like I was worthy of them. That I was worthy of being the parkour champion. What? This shouldn't be happening. I thought I had bested the parkour champion, but I was wrong. This ends now. The parkour champion built an attack that was directly over the void. Either you go down or we both go down. This was the end. The parkour champion knew he lost the battle, so he built a jump that would take us both down. And there's nothing I can do to How does that even myself. work? I knew deep down that this was most likely my last jump in parkour civilization. But Murder, this time, suicide? I wasn't going to give up. <sighs> parkour god, if you're watching me, please just give me the strength for one last jump. I didn't expect my feet to hit the ground again, but they did. And when I turned around, the parkour champion had fallen. I... I won. Praise be the parkour won. god. It's over, right? I'm the new Praise parkour, the parkour champion. Lord. I'm supposed to be the one who can make the rules and save everyone. So how do I do that? But as I was standing there, something started to happen. My items in my inventory were gone, and I got teleported to the parkour temple. When I walked outside, I looked around, That's and I wrong. realized there was nothing above me. And that's when I remember something the parkour master said to me. He told me that the champion is the only one who knows the way up. I turned around and looked at the parkour temple. And where there was nothing before, there was now a way up to get to the top of oh, parkour he civilization. Can see it. That he means can see my it. journey wasn't done yet. I still had to make it okay. to the top. Luckily, I'm now Wait, that was so the best easy. in We're parkour already done. civilization. Yeah, we, so we if there's anyone who okay. can make the jumps, Wait, it was kidding, me. More. Only one more set of jumps stood between me and the top. I had always dreamed of this day when I'd look up and I'd see the last battle about, wasn't against the champion, it was against himself. What I'd have to go through to get here. Every jump His I made, and every skills. jump I failed, all led me Whoa. to this point to make it to the this top is of parkour civilization. And now I was here, and there was nothing, just pure emptiness and only the sky. I didn't have any idea of what to do until I saw a structure the in the distance. I walked over and I saw blocks I've never seen before in Parkour command Civilization. Command blocks. They were command blocks, and they were placed in front of a throne. I stepped up onto the throne, and I got my pair of champion boots. But this time, they weren't someone else's. They were mine. It only makes sense that doing parkour on command blocks gives me the power to make the rules of parkour civilization. But before I start completely changing the entire rules of society, I needed to do something first. He's going back down! It's time I give these back. I the old man! Oh, oh shit! Oh, you, you did it. You saved us. He went no, back into the cave. I didn't do anything. It was only possible because of you. And he went back to the bottom. You should be the champion. I don't know what to do with parkour civilization, but you, you were the champion. Humility. You know how to fix things. I just don't think I'm ready to be the- Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Uh, you think all of this was for me to become the champion again? I'm old, and you know parkour civilization better than I ever could. <sighs> well, all right, I'm gonna need your help. With every four block jump on the command blocks, I can change the rules of parkour civilization. And with the help of the old champion, I'm not just going to make things go back to the old way they were. The I'm going to make things better than they ever were. Parkour old was never about making or failing a jump. It was about getting up and trying again. 
The oh, message! It was never about making the jump. It was about getting jump. up and trying it again. And trying again. It's about it's about jumping for the beef, falling, and jumping for the beef again. The parkour god told me as long as you can parkour, there is always a way. And in There's my parkour civilization, way. people will always have a chance to try again. That's the end! We finished it! We made it! Oh my goodness, Shark. Oh. Absolute parkour cinema chat. Um, I am amazed that I made that. That that was the longest movie I've ever watched. I also the best it. movie I've ever watched. That's why we're immediately watching the sequel when chat. All right. Turned. When Angie Roe was overturned, Angie Chen did parkour on command blocks to, to change it. No, we're not. We can't do this right now. No, I can't do this right now. <laughs> no, I'm not doing a second. I'm not doing parkour Minecraft Civilization full movie number two, bro. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, that was some peak fiction, chat. That was probably... That might have been the best piece of media I've ever consumed on this channel. Um, it had thematics, right? It had a great allegory of the cave reference, um, a message about socioeconomic conditions, messages about society, right? People on top, hierarchy systems. Better than the Dark Knight? I mean, yeah, Dark Knight had the whole, like, why do you fall, Master Brutes? So you can pick yourself back up again. I mean, they literally did this, but better. Why do you parkour? So that you learn to keep parkouring again. It is literally, yeah, it literally is just a better version of it. It's got the best parts of Shonen, right? Had a tournament arc that was peak, you know? Foreshadowed twists. Perfect, hero, perfect circles of storytelling, right? It was basically the best thing I've ever watched. Okay, chat, I'm done. <laughs> chat... Is it worth watching? Yeah, the hero's journey. The hero's journey. The best hero's journey I've ever watched. I am, you know what I'm so excited for, chat? I am so excited to look at the stream graph and see how many people stopped watching. <laughs> I'm so excited to see how many people clicked on it as a bit. Five minutes passed and they said, fuck it, and they left. Oh my goodness. That'd be so funny, dude. That'd be so funny. We actually gained viewers when it ended. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh...